That's a problem? Yes! Yes! The tactical menu is horizontal! We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see. All right, dev stream time. Uh, let's watch this thing. When does it start? Uh, starts... Jesus Christ, when does it start? YouTube. Starts right about here. Uh, let me know if there's a, uh, let me know if there's an echo, by the way, guys. Um, if there's an echo, I'll put on earphones. If not, then I'll just hello, not use earphones. Hello, hello, and welcome to <laughs> DevStream 152. If you're watching this, don't form like Dev Hazel. 12. It's our second don't DevStream of uh, 2021. Steve is, I guess, coming to join us. He was here the whole time. He was yep, here the whole time. <laughs> Good thing I put pants on today. Okay, there's right, going to be well, an echo. People are worried you got kidnapped, Steve, but that's not the case. You're all here. Uh, why don't you uh, just say hello to our viewers uh, on Twitch and YouTube. My name's Rebecca. I'll be hosting the stream today. Sheldon, what's your, what's uh, your deal? My name's Sheldon. I'll be reacting to the stream today in real great. time. Yeah. Oh, yes. Real, real that's great. Steve? Hi, I'm Steve, and uh, I'm excited for, to see you all in chat. And I think we're trying Parsec today, so we have, like, Parsec tech so we can react to Rebecca. Pretty exciting. Wait, what's Parsec? Chat, what's Parsec? Yeah. I am Jeff. Um, I've been told I'm here for only one uh question to be asked so just oh. hang out until I get to it. <laughs> that's not true and scott down <laughs> yeah, at the bottom oh, there a good thing i'm scott and i will not be uh, making any parsec jokes or anything nothing what is part. parsec glad to hear it well for the next hour or what is perhaps this longer depending on how long this goes we're going to be talking to you about warframe if you're watching on twitch they went for an hour and 10 minutes by the way new drops 2.0 if you watch for 30 minutes you can get an umbra forma blueprint uh, so make sure you're there. Everyone wants to. You will not be getting an unperformable so blueprint from me, though. It's still there. Because I'm not like, a Warframe creator, so don't drop. Sorry, that's guys. That's the truck. Is that, that a truck? The truck. That you got the truck? truck? Nice. That is the truck. Vacuum cleaner. It's, it's a vacuum. And... <laughs> Let it be known that this was streamed four hours ago, i.e. when I was asleep. Uh, so I didn't I get the drop. I also mention that there are two Gift of the Lotus alerts live on all platforms after the stream. So whether you're playing on PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or PC, you can get yourself a rifle ribbon and an Oregon Catalyst blueprint if you complete both alerts. So yeah, get Exclamation going. mark the job. to be in game. <laughs> But nevertheless, Great. we have we have Great. a little bit of housekeeping Space to do distance. today. Uh, we just should also mention that, of course, Octavia Prime launched on Tuesday with a Prime trailer. What what's going on? This is like Whoa, a, I was gonna, I was gonna be I was gonna be the mocap like like Danielle yeah. kicked me out because nope. I was I should have been you know. Why do you the, I, I wanted to see the Yeehaw, the Yeehaw dance. Oh, the the the, here's the big question. Yeah, the mocap system doesn't get Here's the, the big question. Why is uh, okay. why is both yeah. Rebecca yeah. and uh, <laughs> Sheldon why the heads cut off? <laughs> why is why are both their heads cut off? I don't get that. The, we also are starting the Octavia fan cam, aka music video contest today. So if you have an Octavia series of footage you want to put together to one of the songs that we're providing you to make a little music video, you can Hydro hop over Prime to the forums and learn more. That about actually that. exists. Uh, the contest is launching today. So Roger. I don't know if you've seen it, but and that actually exists. I should just in more general housekeeping news that as a company, yeah, yeah, yeah. Digital Extremes, we're not looking to be going Wait, you back don't know this? to the office for Fun quite can. some time. We're talking oh. kind of like September at the earliest. So just as a pre piece of information, any TennoCon efforts this year will be digital. So just uh, okay. Do, anyone that- TennoCon's going to be digital, you know, folks. Anticipating travel, it's not going to happen. It's going to be digital this year. So. No more news on that today. Just uh, a heads up that the digital life is the life for us this year. So just a bit of news there. I'm anxiously waiting my vaccine, but I think I'm going to be waiting a long, long there it time is. here in Ontario where, where we're at. So yeah, yeah. yeah unfortunately. It's time for the elderly jokes. I was, I, I know. I was yeah, maybe you can, maybe you can jump the queue oh, when you're opening uh, yourself off with gray there. I think in March you can book an appointment. <laughs> yeah, like, I get, um, I get, I get, yeah, I think it was uh, for Roger. I just put the link there for you. <laughs> Actually, speaking of aging, what a great segue. Speaking of aging, do you guys know what's special about today? Any 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 thoughts? Special about today. Oh, what's special about today? Nine years of Warframe. What? Eight years of dev streaming. Oh. Damn. Damn. <laughs> February 27th. Eight years of dev streams, damn. No, no, I was still, I was still an egg. <laughs> yeah, you were an egg, you were an egg boy. 
Yeah. So if, you know, the calendar was one day forward, February 27th, 2013 is when we started dev streaming. And now here we are, eight years later, February 26th, and we're still going. So that's been the eight first years. First one ever? This is the first dev stream ever. Uh, like I kind of spoiler, mentioned. Steve. Well, he'd be bald. Um, he's bald by a bird. Q and A in this Wait, dev stream. So I figured I'd start it off with a question from me to you guys. Uh, what would you tell yourselves if you could go back and uh, time travel and get in the frame here and uh, say something to your younger eight years ago self who was starting Warframe? This was closed beta still. You know, what, what, what would you say to yourself? Uh, I don't know. I think we were just all so scared back then. <laughs> Did you tell yourself not to be scared? Uh, I don't know. Maybe not, because that probably had a lot to do with the energy that was going into it. <laughs> so, hmm. You don't know. What would you tell yourself, Sheldon, in that in that picture? Yeah, not you, in that Sheldon. Picture right there. Yeah. You would tell him not to hell shy, Sheldon. Oof. It's almost over. Oof. Hey, Stan, how's it going? Soon. But, but oof. That, that's actually what. what Wait, I Stan, you've been here. Been Wait, you're already here. What the hell? Person. Sorry, mate. Okay. Why do I think you're just? That got really dark. That got really dark. But that's what I was thinking. I'm like, well, what would I have been doing? My office is just around the corner from there. Yeah, you were even on the project. I I was. I would have been just around the corner. Look at. Yeah, listen, I bloody forgot that you were already here. Probably heckling. I think I think for sure you're right. Yeah. I think that was an early trauma that I had. Frost Prime mm. Blueprint. Frost Prime Blueprint. Mm -hmm. I feel I feel it was an early trauma. That to do prime trailers, you want me to do prime trailers? So I don't have the time or the energy to do prime trailers. <laughs> There's only like a thousand players at that point. <laughs> well, what were you thinking, Rebecca? Oh, what, what were they thinking, or what would I tell myself? What would you tell yourself? Yeah, what would you tell yourself? Uh, the frame's gonna have a stand. Oh, no, You're talking this is about a uh, Severgoth? Yeah, Severgoth's oh, gonna have a stand, 100%. Right. Right. Prime Railjack? Oh, I don't know, I would probably tell myself Oh, please, don't spoil, the, don't spoil the death stream. Are you just memeing, or is that actually a thing? will outweigh the bad, and... You know? Ooh, yikes. Damn. What so if we summon the DPRK? Here, right? What do you want to summon the DPRK hard. for? I don't think we need to beat around the bush that eight years of running a game as a service as a team like Roger, Warframe what do you want to summon the DPRK for? A lot of ups and a lot of downs, but we're still He's here. Memeing? We're still okay. doing it, and there's plenty don't, to look don't, forward don't to. Don't do so that. Don't, breathe, don't give me hope. Prize, which we'll if you beat some of the DPRK, as in you guys want to work for me as like a team. Whenever there's whenever there's problem, give away platinum. I know. Free platinum. I mean, you're welcome to if you want to. But uh. Uh, platinum prize winner of the day is Real Devil's Reaper. You've won a thousand platinum, Real Devil's Reaper. I want to see what Rob Jack skids. Well, let's find out. We'll hook you up after let's find the out. show. Uh, so congrats to you. Uh, you did it. But yeah. let's get into some other questions, if you are already. Are you ready, I ask you? Are they all going to be as hard as that? Actually, maybe. Yeah, clearly, we're not ready. For my so. hell. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we, we, we really? Hard. Okay, we'll find so, out soon. So, yikes. I, sh I should say the questions come from a mix of some um, YouTubers and Twitch streamers who have been with Warframe. Some of them more recent, some of them possibly as long as that screenshot. Like, we're talking eight okay. years. So, variety, and of course, from the forums as well. So, yeah. this is very well, we'll, classic well, When they get around to seven goths, oh, that's oh, what I'll oh, get into it. Jump right into it. Sorry, guys, uh, that's a... Uh, question comes Jesus Christ, from... Somebody, somebody go, phone notifications, well, mate. First in the spreadsheet is from Shy. This, this, oh, is, an e nice. this is an easy question. So, why from is, you. <laughs> yeah, from me. Also from me. I would uh, like to point why, out that not a single is question is probably from me, because I don't think I ever submitted a question. <laughs> so what was that question from Shy? <laughs> no answer. Why, why is Shy your favorite Warframe YouTuber? Because Shy is Rebecca. <laughs> Haven't we already established this? Shy and Rebecca are the same person. No, Therefore, Shy is, the fa laugh. is their favorite we YouTuber just, we, because... We like the job that you do, Rob. You're like, it's really good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. You, the comedic summaries, I think. Yeah, are, exactly. Yeah. Shy and Rebecca are the same person. I think that's a legit I would question. like to point out... kind of legit, those things, yeah. so... I don't know. I would like to point out that, that, that I... Comes, that we come, come I would like to... I feel like I can probably take responsibility for spearheading this conspiracy. That Shy and Rebecca are the same person because a long time ago, I put out a uh, Reddit thread de on April Fool's Day. Sure, but I put out a Reddit. I put out a Reddit. I put out a Reddit thread detailing how it's just a little bit too coincidental that Shy and Rebecca appear to do uh, appear to be the same person based on this, 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 and this. Does the entire Warframe community know that Shy and Rebecca are the same person? Well, I don't know. But I have continued this conspiracy. 
and I like to and I like to acknowledge that I am very excited that D themselves are now acknowledging that Shy and Rebecca are in fact the same person. Comes to mind anyway. And they also Shy yeah. also asks very distilled happened? feedback. Very yeah, distilled. exactly. Fair yeah, keeping us honest. <laughs> TLDR <laughs> stuff. Love keeping it. us very honest. Yeah. Well, Shy also asks what happened to this. Yeah, what happened to this? Hmm. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, Jeff. Sh- Shy got Jeff. two questions? Uh, Everyone wait, wait. got two questions. Yeah, yeah Jeff, oh. what happened? Uh, we finished it. So Same why isn't it in the where, game yet? Where is it? The art's yeah. ready, so why isn't it in the game yet? Maybe it's going to come That's with the... Uh, maybe it's going to come uh, with the uh, ghoul saw, I reckon. Maybe? And, uh, I don't know. Uh, she said she's shy in a stream. Yes, right she end. did. Okay. Thus, confirming and vindicating the conspiracy. Jeff, it's your fault. Scott was on the stream when we, I think, showed that there were... I might have deleted the... Is uh, shy... Hey, Lawrence, how's it going? Is shy Rebecca or is Rebecca shy? <laughs> that is uh, a yeah, good have, question. Stuff like that. Uh, sometimes we show... I feel like at that point we, we have a chicken and egg and, scenario, Lawrence. Uh, which uh, came first? Did, did shy come first or did Rebecca come first? That's event, something to ponder. Something for the philosophers to ponder. Kind of ponder. in the pantry to see what hasn't been uh, shipped, and I think those, those look really good, ripe for that kind of thing, so... Mm-hmm. A lot of the like, Warframe developments, like, um, yeah, it's like it's like making wine. You know, we put stuff in, and it has to age the appropriate amount before it comes out, and we can distill it into something that you're going to enjoy. You it's also kind of need to stamp it, too, but yeah, sure. It's highly planned, detailed. We knew you were going to ask that question. Mm-hmm. Nope. Waiting for it. So is there, uh, we call those vintage bosses. Vintage. That's right. Yeah, there you go. All vintage right. bosses? Okay. All right, let's jump into questions from iFlynn. Question one. Is there any chance in the future that the Steel Path reward vendor could be revised or revisited? I find Steel Path enjoyable as it allows me to put my gear to the test versus high-level enemies, but I have a hard time justifying mm-hmm. playing it to how rewards are gained. If I could play Steel Path to farm up as many Umbra Forma as I want, I would play it nonstop because I have all the Umbra Forma I want. But because I need to wait eight weeks at a time to get one Umbra Forma, the grind isn't appealing enough to me personally. Okay, let me just let me just counter that by saying the fact that I am able to go up against higher level enemies to begin with is already enough of a reason for me to play it. Because when I play Easy, easy mode, uh, easy mode, Railjack, easy mode, Warframe. It gets really boring really quickly when enemies are only level thirty or level forty. So to counter out what Eiffel is asking at the sec- at that particular moment in time, I would just say uh, the rewards. The rewards, sure, they could be looked at, but I don't think the rewards being quarter being the way they are right now is a detriment to my enjoyment of Steel Path. Steel Path by itself, even without the rewards, is already enough of an enjoyment for me. But of course, maybe I'm just completely different. That being said, though, the prices, uh, maybe the prices are a bit here and there. Sure. Uh, But in terms of like Steel Path as a as a mode, it's absolutely perfectly fine. And I have and I just I just play it regardless. I don't even care about the rewards. Uh, Scaling rewards would be great. Uh, We'll just see what they have to say now. Hmm. Yeah, Sheldon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, no. We should change it from dev stream yeah. to blame stream. Yes. <laughs> blame stream. And we just and we just keep yes. it. Yeah. Who gets the highlight today? Yeah, Where's uh, that boss? <laughs> I think I think it's a good. I think it's that's a like that's a legitimate concern, and we've seen quite a bit on Steel Path. I think once we're past, I don't know where the segue is. Like if I'm supposed to segue with this, but. But with no segues, no segues. I would say once we're past um, our next update, that, that's what we'll look at for sure. We'll be looking at updates for. You want to time out, Roger? A couple okay. places and Steel Path is one of them. I love it. Love to hear. It. I can say just from the Steel Path release experience, we definitely did the eight-week rotation pretty intentionally, just because we thought like, hey, we could have like a reliable schedule. But more Umber Forma is always welcome, so we'll certainly be looking at that after. <laughs> We'll just update. make it rain on Burfarmer. Yeah. No, not necessarily. Like, maybe for those who earned them. Oh, yeah, Savage, by the way. I forgot. You're, you're actually here. So if you want to handle any of the uh, oh, timeout requests and all that jazz, that'd be great, mate. Well, Scott just got oh, rage quit. Yeah, he doesn't want uh, to. He knew what the next question was. Bye, Scott. <laughs> I did see something about uh, Waypoint fix 
uh, fly by. And, I want to go back uh, in time. I better go back to a time where farming plastics with the boys was considered farming uh, plastids. To Warframe and oh yeah, Warframe I remember those times. Well, the, we have a lot of content in Warframe now, so now we have a system that is doing offline analysis, and the level designers are going back through the backlog and fixing those places where the waypoints are broken. Uh, Savage, if you um, want to do that in the for PB. mesh, so. There's gigs and gigs of access I hope the shop to shop. through, um, but that is now something and that's been And not only one daily SP. Uh, Wait, what? Awesome. Waypoint uh, Utopia incoming. Second and question. Every day that number goes down. It does. I've actually seen the bot. To, uh, yeah, yeah, every day. I check reason, it. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. It is going down. Yeah. Uh, our next question from Eiflin, our second question. Is there a chance that the intrinsics grind could be reduced or sped up slash made more worthwhile? I'd love why? to farm up intrinsics, but in Railjack's current state, I don't find the grind to be rewarding enough for the time required to level up. It seems like a theme here. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Chat, is that even true? Uh, I did a video on this. Uh, the in the intrinsic conversion rate. I don't remember how much. I don't know how much uh, intrinsics I get at the very end. So, let's see. Who asked that? Uh, who asked that? I'd love to... Six grind could be... Uh, our next question from Eiflin, our second question. Eiflin. Someone who doesn't play Railtech a whole lot from what I understand. Um... Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so... I believe... S this is with... S Sunny? Yes, I this was a... clearly hasn't played since release lol. Yeah, apparently. Um Let's see. So when so Sunny when when I did this with Sunny, this was during the double affinity weekend. Uh where or rather the double affinity point. Uh yes, the Warframe streamers who don't even touch Railjack. I know, right? Isn't that hilarious? Uh, so let's see. Sunny didn't have a, an affinity booster at the time. So he basically would undergo this, the normal double affinity uh, thing, but not quad affinity. Uh, so, let's see. 6 to 28, that's 22. 22 and a guy on point, 22 in 4 minutes. So, like, let's see here. It takes about a thousand. It's about a th uh, hang on, let's have a look. Warframe. Intrinsics. Huh. How many how many intrinsics do you need? So your cumulative total is a thousand twenty-three. Double affinity isn't always available. No, but my point is uh my point is it's a uh, per intrinsic level. Uh one and a half K affinity. No, that's not correct. It's like twenty thousand affinity, I think. Or something like that. I can't remember. We put, we did the math in this video. The point is, um, Lonely Dolphin, um, because Sunny didn't have a double, di because Sunny didn't have an affinity booster on top of the double affinity weekend, what that means is Sunny effectively did, got the same amount as if he only had the affinity booster on a day that wasn't part of the affinity weekend. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So, I mean, the real grind only really comes around from level 9 to level 10. Now, I will agree on this. I feel like right now the int the intrinsics grind like the actual grind to get from to get intrinsics points, I think it's fine. I think it's absolutely perfectly fine. May I will probably agree that this sort of doubling up, this sort of doubling up uh, that is uh, between uh, between each rank is really is actually kind of bad. Like I will agree with that. It is pretty bad that it's, it's doubling up all the time, right? But the actual grind to get them is not actually that bad. Does that make sense? Does that make any sense at all? Because it's like, I don't know. Maybe maybe what I think DE could do is just like make it so that like, uh, maybe like the first, this is what I would say, the first five or six levels, double, 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 double. But then like from like the first, from six to 10, just keep it the same amount or something like that. I don't know. Um, but either way, 
even if they don't do that though, let's be real here, the grind is fine. It didn't take me too long. And, you know, what they should do is just make the level 10s and the level 9s and level 8s really, really powerful, obviously. Like, it's fine, otherwise. So, I don't know. We'll see. Question. Is there a chance that the intrinsics grind could be reduced or sped up slash made more worthwhile? I'd love to farm up intrinsics... I will say this, to make them more worthwhile, you just basically do something with the intrinsics themselves. I did make a video on an intrinsics rework. Uh, if, you, uh, if, you do a, if you do an intrinsics rework, that makes it more interesting for uh, level 10s because some of the level 10s are not particularly interesting, let's be real here. Then there we go. Uh, they want to make... They want to make Railjack even easier. Yeah, for people who don't play Railjack in the first place. Remember, Railjack was already made dirt easy to begin with. I don't know if Eiffel still plays Railjack. One and a half, 1.5 mastery, lol. <laughs> yeah. But in Railjack's current state, I don't find the grind to be rewarding enough for the time required to level up. Oh, Stan, we already know that, by the way. They already talked about, uh, they kind of already talked about um, Sevagoth last time. Give me the right rewards for the grind, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the reward structure so, uh, of the intrinsics could be changed. I do agree with that, but. That we're working on currently is, uh, a lot of changes to the core of Railjack, which includes basically a, a reset of the intrinsic, uh, what you get. So uh, rejigging slash removing slash adding of stuff. And then we're also allowing you to respec as part of it. So you'll be able to uh, no worries, uh, David. your intrinsics back and respend them uh, based on new information. So that's hopefully we've used, we've leveraged the community to find out which intrinsics people felt were really awful and which ones aren't used very much and we've improved those or slash removed them and yeah so hopefully the next revision let's is just get into the details of your time mm -hmm. and hopefully people who, pro content, who think it's hard probably don't have uh, which is much more probably don't have munitions or tether warframe will also be much more worth imagine still time. not having imagine yeah, still not having tether when it drops reward. like crazy to begin yeah, with we'll just yeah, jump it's, not, right. it's not subtle is that is that covered in a section rebecca well yeah i figure you know what we'll just i'm kind of adapting here live but since we did just say those things about railjack let's talk about spring 2021 uh as far as the community knows they know spring 2021 is going to have some railjack content oh and I've made this little oh so so the Railjack update is actually going to come before Call, for, uh, Call of Tempestari. Oh, oh, that's new. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. I kind of thought that Railjack 3.0 would just come with Call of Tempestari. It's just going to be one gigantic update. But, oh, interesting. Very interesting. Tether is like 20 plat on the market. Well worth buying them for trade before doing Railjack. I mean, maybe, but no. I mean, here's the thing. You can get Tether really, really bloody quickly. You join any ship on Guy and Point, you'll get Tether within like a handful of runs. Pretty much. Like, it's really easy. I, I get Tether. How, oh, oh, damn it. I, I probably shouldn't have... um. Damn it, I shouldn't have, uh, at this point I probably shouldn't have, um, closed, uh, Warframe. How many tethers do I have? You know, tether platform? I mean, listen, if people wanna, if people are going to spend 20 plat on tether, I'll sell my tethers. I have no problem with that, I'm pretty sure I have many tethers. Like, many. <laughs> it's not hard to get, it really isn't. <laughs> void, listen, we're in a stage right now where void hole is not hard to get at all. Okay, we're in a stage where Void Hole, one of the strongest battle avionics that exists at the present moment, is not hard to get. If you're a rookie, you can't join anyone outside of the Earth map because it requires level 3 intrinsics for set. Nah, no, that's not true, David. Um, that's not entirely true. If you join someone via recruitment chat, the only person who needs to have level 3 or level 7 intrinsics to get to a certain area is the uh, is the owner of that Railjack. So whilst you can't just join people via the star chart, which is correct, you can join people via recruitment chat. So as long as you be like, hey, I need help. Uh, can anyone help me go to XYZ? Uh, then, 
you know, uh, they can actually bring you to Veil or Saturn. And even then getting level, you only need one of your intrinsics to get to level three or level seven, by the way. So, I would argue it's actually really easy as long as you just supercharge one of your intrinsics to get to level three or uh, level seven. Uh, oh, damn it. God damn it. Ops. There we go. Okay, let's have a look here. Let's find out. Chat. And this is this is open to everyone in chat. How many tethers do you think I have? Go. How many tethers do you think I have? Is going to be the big question. Stan is saying 24. How many tethers do you think I have? 20. PB saying 20. And the Vuv is saying 868,655. Roger is going for a range of 100 to 50. Mattis is saying 89. Ninjago Bob, how many do you have? What's more than you? How many do you have? And this is open to Twitch chat, uh, sorry, YouTube chat as well. YouTube chat, how many tethers do you think I have? Go. Josh is saying 100. Hmm, must be the delay. How many do you think I have? You have 25? Okay, yours truly juice is saying 110. Alrighty. Without further ado. Oh, I have 20. I have 20. <laughs> so PB is actually 100% accurate. What the how? PB is actually 100% accurate. How did this happen? Yes. I, w I kind of expected to have 100, but okay. I have 20. I have 20, and that was pretty straightforward. So, you know, there we go. Uh, so, if I have 20, y'all can have. Y'all can get Tether pretty bloody quickly because you only need one. You only need one. So, once you get one, guess what? The rest of them, pretty useless. So, hang on. I have 20, but, see you of but, here's the thing, I may or may not have sold a bunch of tethers. I did actually go ahead and sell a bunch of uh, avionics that I had in like the hundreds. So. Sandwich, what was that? What was that timeout for? What did he say? What did he say? I don't know. Anyway. I may or may not have sold a lot of extra a lot of other tethers. Maybe. The point is, it's really easy to get tether. And even if you don't have tether, listen, even if you don't have tether, there is something. You have super oh, platinum tethers. They fall allow themselves for Arshi platinum. No, 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 front, 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 uh, front. Yes. No? Is it not back there? I don't know where it is. Uh, there's a thing called Seeky Volley, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no, sorry, Seeker Volley. If you have Seeker Volley, You'll be fine. Chat, how many Seeker Volleys do you think? We know scum. Yeah, no, I get that, but I don't understand what you mean by that. What did he say? Uh, Savage, can you, can you, just, can you just DM me on, uh, Twitter, uh, on Discord what he said? I, I, I don't, I don't remember what he said. Ryudo saying a thousand. Liang Bai Wu Shi. Okay. Alright, see ya. Uh, 89. 250. Ryudo's got 250. I wonder if I. Small than tether, so he by yeah. Alright, here we go. Ready? 3, 2, 1. I have 146. 
Now, there's also a greater fair chance that I sold a bunch as well for Dyrak, just for the hell of it, because I had like, I probably had like a lot more. So, 146. Yeah. Uh, Ryuno, you may or may not have sold them. Like, I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why. Oh. Probably not something worth timing out, Savage, but sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah. Listen, if you have Seeker Volley, you'll be fine. Especially in Gaian Point. Seeker Volley does perfectly fine in Gaian Point. Hell, Seeker Volley does perfectly fine in uh, Roost Warfield as well. So we'll be fine. You don't need to worry about it. It's it's too easy. You know, it's too easy. Let's continue. Sort of part A, part B for everyone to start sort of rallying their expectations towards planning their time towards. Uh, so for spring 2021, Railjack... Tanky metal ships are meant to upgrade in bulkhead and the shield AV Onyx Max Tauti and Big Plat. We're looking to get it out in spring. It's going to have Corpus Railjack content. The command intrinsic is coming. It's going to have full Railjack 3.0 with a dev workshop to come, and it's going to come out on PC first. Then, I don't know what. Later Sorry, David. I don't know what that means. Update 30, Call of the Tempestari is coming. This is going to have the Warframe quest with Sevagoth, Zephyr Deluxe, and we're aiming to simultaneously release <laughs> yeah, this time out all spoilers, um, and Savage. on all platforms. Don't spoil the so dev stream, okay, guys? the two um, spring 2021 rallying points for the community. Uh, and when we talk Update about 30 is the same shit. Yes. Yeah, sure. So okay. PC release first here, and then update 30 coming simultaneously. Now, when I say dev workshop to come, I think a really important part of the dev workshops is basically ah, giving a little bit of... Of, uh, let's just let's just see how we're trying to achieve and as you mentioned scott like making things worth your time so when we look at railjack 3.0 and when you're looking for that workshop we're gonna have it posted march 8th so we're gonna have the write-up for everyone on that march time. So 8th just, by the way uh, folks i guess just over two weeks from now or, or less than actually uh we'll have that write-up for you march 8th you by the way is going to be not next monday not this coming monday but the monday after um the host's railjack determines too much so we're going to be introducing something called a harness to unify uh Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. The host railjack determines too much. That's a problem? Wait, chat, that's a problem? Why is this an issue? The host railjack determines too much. Who's complaining about this? What? Wait, no, hold on, what? That may, that that's fine. Like I get it. If I jump on someone, I'm just I get it. If I jump on someone else's railjack, obviously I'm gonna be like, yo, that that railjack is too slow because 99 times out of 100, that railjack is either too slow or doesn't have enough battle avionics to make it interesting or is probably missing something that I would prefer on a railjack. But I'm jumping on someone else's railjack. That's fine. You're jumping on someone else's railjack. Deal with it. You know. What do you mean the host railjack determines too much? What the hell does that even mean? It's the point of being the captain. It's the point of being the owner of a goddamn railjack. Listen, if you... If you have a problem with someone else's railjack, you're more than welcome to have your own railjack. And by doing so... You get to determine what your railjack uses. And then of course when people if people join your railjack, you just tell them, Hey, by the way, my railjack has this, 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 and this. Let's use them. You know, it's really straightforward. You just get carried in, yeah. And in Guy and Point pubs, I mean, who the bloody hell cares what someone else's railjack is? As long as it can do the job. Like, what are you going to be doing? You're probably going to be forging. You're probably going to be on the forward artillery. Voila. And even then, <laughs> if you're on the forward artillery, yeah, these days, it doesn't actually matter what the host's railjack has. Because the forward artillery can one-shot a cruise ship no matter what, so long as you aim for the engines. If you don't aim for the engines and you only hit the railjack, then obviously the host railjack could determine whether or not you get to one-shot the cruise ship if they have the forward artillery uh, avionic. But even then, this is a problem? I don't understand this. We're going to have to see. Well, we're going to have to let them get into the details before we continue to, like, figure this out. It's are we going to talk about that or are we just... 
Uh, I do have about that. taken over the bell po- points. No. Uh, yeah, we can talk about the harness. I have, I have visuals to go with it if you want. Okay. Oh, you do. Ooh, fast. Okay, they're going to go into uh, this in detail. Let's well, see what this is just, about. When I say harness, what does that mean? What does that um, What does that no. look like? Yeah. What does What does so, What does any uh, of this do you mean? Want to go through the list, or do you want me to go go into harness mode? Uh, I don't know. We can go into harness mode. I guess the the harness is basically the railjack was all on the railjack, so all the avionics and all of the. Um, upgrades were living on your host's railjack. Um, uh-huh. So you're kind of tied to whatever the host brought to the table, which was uh, not uh-huh. very fun. So now. You know why it's probably not fun? Because probably most host railjacks are boring. I'm going to put it out there right now. There's a good to fair chance. Like, I feel like this might actually tie into this thing that I've noticed, where a lot of railjacks at the start that were just tanky railjacks probably were slow. Or they didn't have any battle avionics. Or they didn't have any tactical avionics. So maybe the reason why I am not sympathetic to this problem is because my ship is actually, at least to me, fun. And as far as I can tell, nobody's complained on my ship that it's boring. Right? Ch- uh, PB, uh, Savage, anyone who's actually been on my ship, have you ever found anything on my ship to be boring? Outside of maybe engineering, maybe. Like I've never heard anyone complain to me that my ship is boring, and I I don't feel like my ship is boring, point blank. Therefore, maybe I'm not sympathetic to this at all, because I actually try to make my ship as fun as possible. We are watched better. I don't know. We're moving as much as we can possibly stand to kind of a personal level. So all of the avionics are moving on to your person or your Warframe. Whoa, what the hell? Really? Really? How does this make, how does this work? Can't remember the random who said our ship needs more health. Yeah, I remember that. What is this? Hang on, let's let let's let them let's let them figure this out first. Um, allowing you to bring your own progression to everyone's railjack. So uh, when you jump on the piloting, it's your mods that are going to be active for your gameplay. So if you have a lot of mods that are geared towards piloting, uh, you know, railjack speed and stuff, then you can slot those in and uh, be a better pilot. Uh, if you go, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chat. Quick question. Chat. 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 Does not intrinsics exist? Does not intrinsics exist well, already? Isn't that literally the point of intrinsics? Well, that being said, the intrinsics are. Look, there's only, okay. I'm very torn on this. I am very torn on this. Because obviously, on the one hand, this would fix the one problem that I have with playing. Well, I have several problems that I, I, I have several problems with client mode railjack. But one thing that would make sense for me on uh, for this is uh, it would mean that a random person's railjack who I cannot have any and I I can't have any. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? A random person's railjack that I don't really have any faith in actually having like three battle avionics, I can guarantee that they have three battle avionics. Wait to the next paragraph? Okay. But But it's the integrated stuff, that's what that's what kills me here. I don't understand this. So what? What's gonna happen? Because integrated <sighs> Let's just keep watching. Else is railjack, then you still take those with you. Uh, the equipment is left on the railjack side and the customization, so there is some progression on if you own a railjack, but all the uh, avionics and all the battle avionics and tactical avionics have been moved to uh, personal harness level, I guess we're calling it. Mm-hmm. So, you know. How the fuck does that work? Let's see if you notice what they don't address. I'm already confused by this. How the fuck does this work? So what's gonna happen? I don't I don't build my railjack for tankiness. You all know this. 
My railjack is not built for tankiness. It never has been. It never will be. Imagine thinking the equipment matters. Also, form a question mark. Yeah, form a question mark. What the fuck? I don't build my railjack for tankiness. Number one. So number two, how the fuck is this going to work? If I jump on my railjack as the pilot, and I don't have any tank avionics, tank mods, right? But then someone else jumps onto my railjack as the pilot, and they have the tank mods. Does that mean my railjack will one minute have a thousand hull, and the next minute have six thousand hull? How does that, was that, does that make any sense? Hey Silver Knight, how's it going? You're definitely new. Railjack population is split between people with a jack and people who without who fill in as a crew. As, num as the number of people with a good ship increases, the number of people who will be in the crew will decrease. Uh, that, that and Commander Intrinsics. As soon as Commander Intrinsics sh shows up, the number of people who want to fill in as a, as a crew will also drop. Because Commander Intrinsics. I don't understand this. This, this, this changed. I... I feel like I'm going to find- I feel like I'm not going to like this change at all, but we'll see. You know, there's a lot to take in here for these screenshots. Clearly, avionics have become, uh, let's say, mods, so to speak. So when we look back to mm -hmm. our bullet points, we're, we know that a thing to solve is Railjack is too different, but not different enough. For example, avionics and mods die- <laughs> Railjack is too different, but not different enough. What the fuck does that mean? Who's complaining about this? Who is complaining about this? What does this mean? Let's let them explain. Iraq and Endo. Um, one thing to solve, of course, is many intrinsic ranks are seen as not worth it, as Scott said. True, true. That's a true statement right there. I agree with that 100%. So really revisiting a lot of those. Um, yep. Onboarding is still rough and not so, so intuitive to how to get your real jack, maybe, how to play it. Maybe. Uh, there was a lot of friction I'm out of coffee. in that as well. I think you also have this later on is there's a lot of friction in just getting uh, into a rail jack. Hey, Savage, can you um, deny that so hydrate? Smoothing I'm out of coffee. Smoothing out as well is, is part of this. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. And you'll also see that the railjack interior itself is a bit overly large and not streamlined for the pace of Warframe play. The railjack interior is overly large and not streamlined for play, is it? Is it? Where's my fucking hydrate? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Did they forget you can teleport? You can teleport! That is a thing. Meditation. It is difficult to The only way the you would find this too large planet. is if you happen to be <laughs> and uh, you actually walk from the front to the back. If you're doing this, sure. Sure. In the entrance real jack interior is overly large and not streamlined for play. <sighs> Who's who is who is complaining about this? I don't understand this at all. Intrinsics or yeah, exactly. I believe it's level. Fuck, it's might be level level one intrinsics. Is it level? Hey, hey, chat. Is it level one tactical intrinsics that gives you the ability to teleport throughout your ship? Is it? Do I need to make a video on this? Do I seriously need to make a video on how to teleport through your ship? I mean, come on. Level five. I think it's around level three or four. We'll find out in a second. We'll find out in a second. Cause chat! Yo, I think we all know. I press L. I click right here. I click right here. <gasps> Pog? Pog! Pog's in the chat! Look at that, I'm already at the back! Oh my god, Pog! Is probably the Mr. Senshi founder who complained about Arch Winds being faster than Real Jack Lau. Wait, 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 chat, 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 chat. What if I, uh, I will say this though, when it comes to the map, the map used to not move, and now it's moving again. D, can you fucking fix that please? Thank you. Ready. You ready? What if I, um, what if I do this? Ah, oh, rip, I don't have that camera set up. Okay, what if I press at the, what if I, what if I click like right here behind my camera? What if I click right here at the front? What happens if I click at the front one? <gasps> Pog? Did I 
just make it all the way to the front of the ship just like that? Pog? Wait. What if I, uh... What if I want to make... What if I want to just go to the guns? <gasps> Did I just teleport all the way to the guns, Pog? Who the fuck is complaining that the ship is too large? I don't get this. I, 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 I don't get it. Who's complaining that the ship is too large? When teleporting through the ship exists. And has existed since the dawn of time. I know, right, Roger? I know. Who is complaining about this? Now, the big question for me... <clears throat> the big question for me is, what level of intrinsics do you require in order to actually be able to teleport through the ship? Let's find out. You ready, folks? We're going to find out what tactical intrinsics you need. Tactical. Uh, tactical system. Recall warp. Huh? Huh? Wait. Hold on. Ah! Level 3. Tactical intrinsics. Level fucking 3. Tactical intrinsics. Repeat after me. Level 3. Tactical intrinsics. Which is really, really bloody easy. Really bloody easy. Four in- Uh, no. Uh, you need one, you need two, that makes three, and then you need four. Seven. Seven! You just need seven! Rank three. Rank three. Rank three. Fast tra- Oh, sorry. My chat's- Sorry, guys. My chat's bloody- Uh, blocking it. Command link. Fast travel within the vessel. Coordinate squad members with in command interface. Fast travel within vessel. Rank three. Rank three. Are you fucking serious? Who is complaining about something you can do with rank three fucking intrinsics? Hold on. Please. No. 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 This is too- No. Come on. No. This, this is going to be a joke. This is going to be a meme. No. Who is complaining about this? I'm not- well, I'm not- I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed never- I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Like, what? <laughs> come on! Come on! Who is complaining here? Who is complaining here? Let's continue. It's just seven intrinsics, guys, come on. Oh my fucking god. You get that with one round of guy and point, ladies and gentlemen. You just get someone to taxi you for like th four minutes, four minutes, and you're already good to go. Okay, so we are uh, renovating the interior. Uh, there, of course. Uh okay, I will say this though: if they are renovating the interior, cool, cool. If they're renovating the interior, cool. I am very curious to see what they're going to do with the interior. If they give us a new interior, or if they give us multiple interiors to play around with, cool. That's going to be really, really cool. But. It's not too big, what the fuck? Um, a big thing, as to Eiflin's point, is the lack of connective content, such as relics, warframes, and rewards. So this is, this is, this is a fair, this is a fair piece of criticism. What's the... Yeah, and there's, there's lots of, I mean, the reward, um, slate is quite exciting for what we're doing with this, and, um, I don't know what we've talked about yet. They're just desperate to get more people uh, to play storms, Railjack. Right, but, but they did uh, that with Railjack Revisited and people still aren't playing Railjack because they're... Makes sense, right? It's energy from the void. You should be able to crack relics uh, while you're in the void storm. So that's that's going to be a... You know, oh! Kind of gameplay that you... So that's how you're going to crack do, relics in Railjack? Like, how do we how do we bring more core Warframe into Railjack? I approve. The key I approve. That is from core Warframe that now you're going to be able to do when the void storms come. Um, when you're on your Railjack. So, I, I approve of this cool 100%. Um, we're unvaulting a couple primes. What is said the intrinsics farm? I Flint said the intrinsics farm is too hot. I already I already uh, responded to this. Yes. So we're going to have some prime relics uh, in there for you to find. There's a couple of the warframes that wait, are wait, 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 w
unvaulting a couple primes. So we're gonna have some prime relics uh, in there for you to find. They're unvaulting a couple of relics to do for Railjack. Wait, is that what they just said? They're going to introduce some unvaulted relics as well? Uh, Sorry, they're going to introduce some vaulted relics into Railjack? Pog? Pog! Big Pog! If that's what they said! Y'all mothers didn't like Railjack, well, it's time time to stop crying, you bitches. Because, uh, guess what? Railjack's going to be the king of uh, relic farming now. Pog! Well, listen, when the details come out, we'll find out. But until then, let's just see what happens. There's a couple of the Warframes that have been some of the hardest ones to get, um, like Ash, um, off the Mimics. We're going to move that into uh, some of the missions inside Railjack. And I think that's the other thing. Like, I don't want to step on what Scott was saying, but a lot of this experience is going to be about playing core Warframe, about going on your ship for an amount of time, but then you're getting to the new new mission types that you get to play. Don't don't so get too excited, Ninja Bob. Don't get, get too excited, okay? Just don't get too excited, but, but I'm going to say, Paul. Exciting, actually. Yes. It's going to be, uh, and it's it's a great connective layer as well. So it's rewards we're, we're bringing. And like you said, when we say unvaulting, we don't mean through the store. We mean we're just totally. restoring relic. Like some relics are just going to come those, back. Those relics are just going to be permanently in there and they, they yes. won't be cycling through the Prime Vault program or anything like that. Yeah, they're just in game. Uh, and then, of yeah. course, there's just general mission voting and matchmaking issues. And then the, you know, skirmish only versus... Um, the, the Grenier Railjack having every node say skirmish, with, regardless of what p- points of interest were in there. So there's really a lot to solve. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this repetitive this is skirmish like thing is also like a, a legitimate a criticism. A note of things we're thinking about, the full workshop with all the details on what is the harness, what's happening to your avionics, will all come out on March 8th. But this is just sort of the dead discussion of such a workshop that will be coming later. Yeah. So. so for the people that have uh, engaged in Railjack and earned the stuff that's in there, anything that's changing or uh, being sh- shifted around, we'll either be doing a reset or a, a refund. Um, so like... Yeah, they've the already mentioned this, by the way. We will be removed. getting a, uh, an so intrinsic refund. Will be refunded to you. So you can choose so what to there, put your intrinsic to again. All those things are, we're trying to take into account and make sure that the people that did engage with it get their stuff back, get their their items back so that they can use them in the di- in a new, different way. Yes. That's so. true. And that's the same thing with the grind as well, because we're really reducing mm-hmm. the grind for um, even starting out and, and building a Railjack the first time, but also all the, the game had parkour and bullet jump. Were, true, were David. There's also that too. All of the friction in that system and all of you people who have went through it and who have who have paid the price to do that, we're, we're going to make sure you're taken care of. We definitely know um, that you had to Paid the price. For that what stuff the fuck does that even mean? Feel like because we've changed it, that that, that went to waste. Yeah, it. and I think I've just been watching chat. It's really difficult to pick out individual questions because chat is scrolling quite quickly. Um, I think watching people's reactions, uh, there's definitely mixed reactions to this. This is just bullet points about uh, what our intentions are. And I think some people are like, "This is really great. This is really bad. I hate this. I love this." Uh, what we have kind of on the dock Why are they reducing is, farming for um, Railjack? Because I guess people don't like farming. I don't know. So we felt I don't know. I don't know. Railjack systemically was not in a good position for us to give you that update without making changes to the design and to the meta progression of it. So I think if you're a player who maybe bounced off Railjack because of the grind, this is going to be for you. If you are a player that's worried uh, that all we're doing is Railjack stuff. Well, of course, the answer is we have a Railjack update that we're delivering to you, and we're making these changes so that that update uh, is even. Imagine complaining that all D is doing is Railjack when they haven't touched Railjack for almost an entire uh, no, actually an entire year. Imagine that. Ah, oh, D, why are you focusing so much time on Railjack when they haven't touched Railjack in an entire fucking year? Oh, God damn it. You feel the next world press close on the A lot of people don't like Railjack. Strength. Yeah, for dumb reasons. Oh, by the way, I have my chat off. She Whoops, sorry, guys. The presence of those she lost, the great and and better rather than, um, you know, canning it or something like that. We something terrible watched. like that. So, yeah, and I mean, uh, to your point, be patient. Is that, yeah. read, the, read the workshop. The You're going to have to try it. Point. Hold on, guys. Let me, uh, let me eat the audio of Warframe for a sec. Um, the, the really cool thing, I think, with 
the the harness or I hope we don't call it something like that but the really cool thing about the harness I blame you for that is that uh um is that uh, you will be able to be I don't think it's 90 percent influence on the host ship no I don't think it's 98 percent that's the, uh, way too high of it time you put into but a lot of but I will say a lot of people don't like railjack hook into the railjack but 99 percent of the pop the reasons why they don't like railjack are really dumb gonna be really healthy like I could be like uh fire suppression exists dependency uh, and then all the stuff that um, uh Sherman's teleport exists to reduce uh secret body exists to get it which was just absolutely absurd and how complicated the systems were to build your railjack uh, and and upgrade it all of those things are getting really really simplified um, i think it's going to be very very healthy for it and unify it with the rest of the game and when we say unify with the rest of the game i think in the past dev stream um, i can just show you a little example of this is just like a gameplay test i was doing earlier of corpus railjack um so I, i'm in my railjack it's the corpus <laughs> capital ship and yep. you know last oh, stream we shit. mentioned Hey, Reb, why are you only using a void hole? <laughs> PTSD from farming the god roll of Vida reactor before the Imperial Iron yeah. Ah, uh, Look, the god roll Vida reactor memes, I do agree the change to Vida, the change for Valence Transfusion was probably a good choice. Or Valence Transfer, whatever the fuck it's called. Hey, Reb, <laughs> why are you just using a void hole? <laughs> well, you've seen your round jack, it's a lot better than this, come on. Um, oh, also, hey. You know no, we're bringing Orphix Venom back. Hey, Reb. You've got a minor breach. What's happening, mate? What's happening? <laughs> so, you know, once I've done the railjack portion of this mission to get access to the highly secured Corpus ship, so I've had to take down some Corpus ships, some, some specific areas. Hey! I hey! Chat! Let's get Pogs in the chat right now because, uh... I'm gonna show you right. I'm gonna tell you right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, bringing Orphix Venom back. So you know, once I've done the Railjack portion of this mission to get access wait, to wait, the wait, 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 So good! I fucking approve that, 1000%. The tactical menu is fucking horizontal! Uh, sorry, not the tactical menu. The tactical map is fucking horizontal. Yes! Oh, please, for the love of crap, ship that! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Rev knows how to use TV. Yes! True! Take down some Corpus ships, some, some specific areas. I like... I, I like how one of the complaints is, oh, the map's too big. Meanwhile, Reb unironically also uses the teleport. Like, did you just show everyone that the fucking teleport exists? <laughs> I can then, you know, Either go way. in and yes. get my Orphix Venom on, yes. or in this case, Orphix. So I got my capital ship here. My Umbra is ready to go. And, you know... If you are a great idol on Hunter, you're you're used to the arcane um, gameplay mm. loop at night on Earth. But you know, Orphix is back, which means arcanes. Uh, another way to get arcanes is coming back within the Orphix mission type. So, Orphix will be back. Not now only are you on your real jack, you also have your warframe and of a course your mech. So I know, I know, this right? Whole world of railjack mechs and core reward loops like um the arcanes to get everything sort of in one package and that's also part of the uh uh corpus railjack expansion so yep and just again reacting to um people's concerns in chat which again, railjack's too big uh, by the way time we announce changes to anything uh people that's gonna be uh, the new uh, main railjack's too large by the way have a knee jerk to be worried uh, Scott, I don't think it would be fair to characterize these changes as dumbing Railjack down, would it? No, no, I think it's just fixing some of the mistakes we made, I guess. Like, we, you know, like putting all the stuff onto your Railjack and not letting the players that join it have meaning in it. I think that was a mistake. Um, so allowing you to... Uh, okay. I think this was, I think uh, someone was uh, asking if I uh, had or you talked about this particular point about uh, the whole uh, how harness thing. Meaning in it, I think. 
stuff onto your rail jack. So let me just re Mistakes let me just we made, I guess. Let me like, just re respond to this. You know, like putting all the stuff onto your rail jack and not letting the players that join it have meaning in it. I think that was a mistake. No. It was not a mistake. The reason why it's a mistake, possibly, is just because a lot of players put in things that are boring. Let's be real here. If you put in things that are actually useful, that give your allies something to do, uh, guess what? I don't think anyone would ever complain that they didn't have any meaning if the ship that they are on allows them to facilitate some meaning. So, you know, it's less, at that point, it's less to do with the game and more to do with just a lot of players doing like some really boring ass shit. Like, the meta, the meta, as far as I can tell, is quite literally a uh, Levan uh, thing. What do you think of the mount card as that have for rail jack? I don't like it. Uh, as of right now, my knee jerk reaction is I don't like it. I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's I think it really just fucks up the I think I think it really just fucks up Railjack as a whole th as a whole thing. I think it gives um, players some bizarre agency that really shouldn't exist for a team based game. I think it doesn't make any sense from a re from a realism standpoint as well. I don't think it makes sense from a gameplay standpoint as well. I'm not entirely sure why this is even a thing. And also uh, there's also this thing where the Railjack would at some point have random levels of health depending on who's piloting i think that's going to be really really fucked up now the only what i will say is this this whole thing this whole uh situation that I, this whole problem that i'm having right now with um, a lot with the potential that a round uh, would have random amounts of health here's how you make that here's how you can bring me on board okay this is how you bring me on board with the idea that a Rowjack uh feed my pet what do you mean? Uh, this is how you, um... Oh, anyway, this is how you bring me on board with the idea that the Railjack could at some, could one minute have 1,500 hull, and then the next minute have 6,000 hull. You bring back the old avionics system from the, uh, from the demo. The old avionics system from the demo. Does anyone remember what the old avionics system from the demo was? It was this idea where in the middle of the ship during uh, no, not in the middle of the ship. Sorry, at the at the front of the ship in 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 the uh, in, in in um fuck the in the cockpit, not the cockpit. Uh, fuck, what's it called? Um, in the bridge, in the bridge of the ship. You had what is right now the navigation system, but during a mission, what it was was the avionics system, and the way it worked was you could actively choose to put energy to your uh, forward, uh, to, to your shields or put energy to your engines or put energy to your weapons instead or a mix of both. If you want to bring me on board with the idea that one minute your ship has a thousand hull and then the next minute it has six thousand hull, that's how you do it. By having a thing where you can really think about shifting the energy around, that would be cool. But this mod system, no, this is not the way to do it. I, I don't think this is going to be the mod I don't think this is going to be the way to do it. Will be more accessible to lower MR. Why does Railjack need to be more accessible to lower MR players? That's the big question, weak Gen X. Like, I don't get it. Easier to navigate. I don't even think... Uh, I think that's going to make things more confusing. One minute it's like, one minute it's 1,600 hull, and then the next minute it's 6,000 hull, and I'm just sitting here as the captain being like, wait, why the fuck has my ship got 6,000 hull all of a sudden? Where the fuck did that come from? Oh, right, because some schmuck is now piloting my ship who's apparently decided to pilot the ship as, like, a uh, fucking, uh, as a tanky, uh, slow mess. Why? Get off my, get off piloting. And also, let's be real here, the captain usually ends up being the pilot, let's be real. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. Listen, chat, has anyone come across the cap a captain of a ship who has decided to just stick to being the forger? Has anyone ever come across that? Because I feel like... MR6 on what? Okay. Has anyone... You've actually been the pilot. You've been the captain of the ship and you've just stuck to being the... F Wait. You're the captain of the ship and you decided to just be the forger? Really? Okay, never mind then. I guess, I, I guess I, what I was about to say just completely flies out the window then. <clears throat> okay, never mind. Uh, what I was about to say just completely flies out the window. Because I, for one... I will let you pilot this ship if you want, but 99 times out of 100, people don't want to pilot the ship. Why? Because there's client lag. And trying to pilot a railjack while there's client lag, eh, kind of sucks. 
let's be real here. Client Road Railjack kind of sucks. I agree with that 100%. But... The new money for Railjack would be more simple to set up for lower and less experience tenno. Yeah. So what happens to... What ha what happens to the intrinsics as a whole? Does that mean that the entire intrinsics fucking thing just disappears? Like, the entire intrinsics thing. Yeah, why why do we yeah. Does the entire intrinsics thing just completely disappear now? So this entire thing disappears. Is that the idea? Is that the idea? You refunded all your intrinsics. Yay! Sorry, did I say intrinsics? Fuck! I meant affinity. Uh, sorry, I meant avionics. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I misspoke. I misspoke. I misspoke. I misspoke. I misspoke. I, misspoke. I, misspoke. I think it's a good idea long run. You might be right. I don't know. But right now, I don't think it's a good idea. Then again, you know, change. I, 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 I recognize this within myself as well. Sometimes a big change idea can be can be very uh, daunting. Uh, so it's entirely possible that I'm overreacting. It's entirely possible that I'm overreacting. But still, what the fuck? You know, I, 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 I don't know. 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 Here's the big question. All this. Uh, one sec. All of this. Is this going to just get yeeted? Is that the idea? All of this. Is this all going to get yeeted for what is essentially mods 2.0? Or mods 5.0 or whatever the fuck we want to call it. Is that the idea? I got tethers ahead. Yeah. Is that what's gonna happen? I don't know. Ninjago Bob. Hold on, hold on. Don't spoil. I don't think they talked about that yet. Anyway. If you're always the pilot, nothing changes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This just seems so weird. This just seems like such a weird idea. Yeah, they become regular bots. Like, uh, I don't know. Let's just continue. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm allowing you to uh, mod and personalize your Railjack experience. That means picking your own tactical avionics, your own battle avionics. Uh, you'll have your own resource pool, so you'll have your um, your own revelite to deal with. You won't be in a shared pool. That basically means that if people don't craft it, you're you're in trouble. Th those things will regen. The battle forge remains, but it has a different. What? craft it you're you're in trouble Th those things will means that if people don't craft it you're you're in trouble Th those basically means that if people don't craft it you're you're what do you so say you have your um your own revelite to deal with you won't be in a shared pool that basically means that if people don't craft it you're you're in trouble Th those things will regen the battle forge remains but it has a different meaning now it's an instant what the fuck is that made? What? No, what the fuck? It's supposed to be teamwork makes the dream work. This is literally individual railjack now. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, Hockey Bukusa. Void Souls were your idea. Hey, thanks, mate. Uh, I will say thank you then. What the fuck does that mean? Wait, 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 wait. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, no, 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 no. I think no, 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 no. Well, that basically means that if people don't craft it, you're in trouble. Those things will regen. The battle forge. Those things will regen. <sighs> Wait, that means teamwork doesn't even matter anymore. Because in Railjack right now, the team has to coordinate to make sure that the resources don't get burned instantly. Instead now, 
each person each person has their own individual set of resources. What the fuck? Hey, Candyman Criminal, how's it going? Thanks for raiding. Uh, welcome back to the stream. A hey, Lemeo. Um, what the fuck does that mean? Maybe the regen is ruined. actually ruined. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is this is this is kind of scary. We're gonna have NPCs. Yeah, we're also gonna have Commander Intrinsics. What the fuck? What the? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. So everyone's going to have their own separate pool of Flux, Revelite, yada yada yada, which is apparently going to regenerate slowly, whatever the fuck that means. Which means, you do realize this means that Railjack is even easier than ever, right? You do realize that Railjack is even easier than ever because that means four people. Four, you have four people on the ship. That means literally four breaches are basically out for free. Ah, uh -huh. the whole point of the forge, the whole point of Railjack is to be able to coordinate between a skill pilot, a a forge, uh, an engineer who is able to maintain and uh, manage the resources properly to provide the resources necessary, and gunners and forward artillery people who are good at shooting shit. It's supposed to be a well cohesive team. To make it just f a team of four individuals like that, that doesn't sound like a good idea at all. Hold on. What? Is, why? Why? Fuck. Okay, I need more details. I need more details because I feel like I feel like right now I'm misunderstanding something, but just based on what I just heard, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? It's too easy. Railjack is already Railjack is already too easy. What the fuck? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. It remains, but it has a different meaning now. It's an instant plus a max change. Um, okay, I don't so know what I that means. It's just correcting some of the systemic. Bringing your own gunnery mods. See, Hockey Bukusa, I do agree with the idea of being able to bring your own gunnery mods for things like Section Destiny and shit that I never use. Obviously, for shit that I never use, fine. But I don't like the idea of, like, massively overriding the health of a railjack like that uh, because some other random person happens to be the pilot. They have to be really, really restrictive with that shit or not. Right? I feel like <sighs> there might be a way for this to work. But the way that they showed it right now, I don't think is the way to work. For it to work. So we'll see. We'll see. Mistakes that we made with it, and then, but keeping the core loop as intact as possible. The core loop is getting wrecked. I don't understand how that's game being kept intact. Yeah, and I think uh, when we look, when we looked at, okay, well, we I don't know, Savage. Delivery, and we have the call of Tempestari, mm -hmm. and this is all Railjack stuff, and that has a long tail of development leading to that. I think increasingly we felt internally uh, that we need. Imagine to make if these this real jack update will be as bad as the real jack release itself a year ago. Now, so I, yeah, I, I personally felt like we didn't have a choice that we. we what was that? As it deserves, and so I think. Wait, what was that? Or call a tempest story to be as successful as as it deserves, and so I think. Yeah, I, I personally felt like we didn't have a choice that we we really needed to face some of these issues. Um, and so that's kind of the impetus for the, the change, as dramatic as it sounds. Um, all the systems are there, but they've been kind of reworked, I think, as a... I don't know. Uh, as an improvement. I don't, I don't, I don't know. To dot to, uh, fix yeah, I don't know. Bad co-op, but keep, keep the kind of complexity. It, it, this is the most complex way to play the game. You've got all these dependencies. You've got someone flying. You've got someone shooting. You've got someone uh, repairing. So the one thing these, these, we're not, go, these uh, to fix... We're definitely not about Railjack is people who are not ship owners being able to do stuff in navigation and piloting if it's not your ship. Oh, yeah, they didn't even do any, they haven't even talked anything about that. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, a large, a large, uh, a large criticism that I've heard, which I don't necessarily agree with 100%, but I will respect anyway, because sure, fair enough. It's like, it's like they don't even talk about that. This, this, this is like a huge thing that a lot of people have been complaining about for a very long time. And yet, the, none of this actually fixes that. What the fuck? <laughs> Sounds like they're taking an already baby boat railjack and ba double babying it, triple babying it. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see. Making this a bumper car, it's it's still pretty complicated. Yep. Uh, but we are we are. Is it complicated car. though? So all of those things remain. We're not. Uh, we're definitely not 
making this a bumper car. It's it's still it already is a bumper car. Pretty complicated. Yep. Uh, but we are we are smooth. The different loadouts. Yeah. See the di oh. Yeah, see, the different loadouts thing, I 100% agree with that idea that there should be different loadouts. I, for I didn't notice that, actually. Sorry, I, f I, I was too busy yelling and screaming about the whole thing as a whole. But definitely the idea of the different loadouts, I do agree. That's really good. I do agree with you, Hockey Picrusa. 100%. The idea of having different loadouts, that's really cool. Um, but fuck, there's so much in there that's just, like, fucking making my head scream bring it out and and like sheldon said the, that entire system is making game, me scream giving you good incentives like guy flint was asking giving you good incentives to engage with the kind of interesting systems we built there yeah. stop listening to i flint i'm sorry stop listening to big fucking time youtubers who don't play railjack i i wonder who complained about the railjack being too big was it a big youtuber was it a big YouTuber? Was it a big YouTuber? I think it was a big YouTuber. Because I don't know who the fuck would complain about that. <sighs> Let's keep going. Oh, I mean, there's so much. To, I, I mean, do, are we going into like the game modes? Like, I think um, for this, that's going to that be more the dev workshop breakdown. Okay, okay. But like, as it stands, right. you saw Orphix Phantom. There's going to be other game yeah, modes. Yeah, I know, right? In the yeah, new store. game modes. New game modes. There's actually, yeah, a completely brand new one, plus yeah. some returning. Yep. Like that, like, I mean, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to. Egbo Gaming. Wait! Egbo, are you sure? Are you sure? Was it GHS? Seriously? Was it really, was it really GHS who complained that the ship was too fucking big? Are you absolutely sure? I'm not going to continue watching until you fucking answer. Are you absolutely sure? Probably. I think I heard he was complaining. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to I'm not going to say that it was him because I don't know either. He is he is mentioned. Oh fuck me. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't like a lot of the community likes or hates him because of the fact he gives me sinful and does negative research. Wait, who are you talking about, Stan? Who are you talking about? You can't go to the navigation, Frankly, the third floor does very little and could be put in the second. Yeah, I do agree with this. Uh, I do agree with that, Silver. To some extent, the third floor is pretty is is kind of pointless. Wait, is it? Wait, is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That might not necessarily be true. The third floor. Wait, isn't the slingshot in the third floor? Wait, isn't the slingshot in the third floor? It is. Sorry, never mind. Sorry, David, I'm actually going to disagree with you on that one. I'm pretty sure the slingshot is, uh, the slingshot is located in the third floor. This is the third floor, right? And you need to go to the third floor in order to access the slingshot. So actually, the third floor is fine. You can teleport to the slingshot. Yeah, I do agree with that. But I don't know, I don't really think it's worth re redesigning the entire thing. Uh, just as the slingshot could be, could be moved down the floor. Uh... Um, uh, no, because if they move it down a floor, then, then it would, it will be here. Because the slingshot is above, right above us, right now. The reliquary drive is right here. Now you could say move the reliquary drive down a floor as well, but then it's going to be the, uh, the forge. So, I don't know. I will say this though, DE, do something about the fucking reliquary drive, like, what are we supposed to do with the Reliquary Drive? What is the point of it? I, I haven't touched this shit since I finished my- I finished fucking Thingo Thingo. Yeah, you can teleport in front of the slingshot though. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Oh, can't teleport right now because I'm in the dry dock. But yeah, you can. And you end up, uh, you actually end up right here. You actually end up right here. Remember, the slingshot is a long barrel. Yeah, true. The barrel in the center. Uh, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, let's just keep going. To play new game modes, you know? Yeah. Then you're seeing, like, the capital ships, uh, 
you know, are going to be attacking like they were uh, in uh, our TunnelCon demonstration. The purpose kind of, of the reliquary drive was like to ask what the is the purpose of the reliquary drive. Uh, True. That we didn't really get the time uh, to do before. So that's going to be part of, well, on PC is going to be a little earlier. And then, of course, a big part of Call of Tempest story. Yeah. All right. Which is yeah. story and lore and the things that, that um, for a certain audience, you really are desperate to see the story of the game advance. And um, yeah, probably. So, Call of actually, Silvo, it's interesting that you mentioned that because Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, one of the things that I wrote as part of my uh, intrinsics, up, uh, intrinsics rework is to give engineers a bit more to do. For example, being able to construct turrets. I think it would be really cool if you can construct a turret as an engineer right here. Or... Right here. Or... Right here. If you can construct a turret or a cannon I think that could be really, really cool as an engineer because the engineer is the only, is really the only person in a railjack who does bumfuck nothing half the time because all you're doing is forging. So. Or give Necros the ability to construct turrets out of corpses as well. Maybe. Uh, but I feel like the intrinsic rework should allow you to just play Protea to construct towers that shoot the ships, not to construct towers that shoot shit inside your own ship. But I get what you mean, I get what you mean. Still, engineering, the engineering gameplay right now, I do agree. The 4th member in a jump point pub in a nutshell, pick a who face. Yeah, exactly. The engineer right now kind of does bumfuck nothing for like half the time. Because what are you doing? You're just sitting there waiting for your resources to get used so that you can make more resources. Give the engineer something to do. Make turrets and shit. Make more turrets, make more, make more cannons and shit. That would be my big idea. Imagine if enemies could drop enemies could drop mini guns if enemy engineers could drop mini guns if en enemies breach you. That could be dope. That could be dope. You know, Just fucking something. Fucking something. Give engineers more shit to do. That's what I advocate for. Okay, I've advocated for it before, and I advocate for it again. Pastari is going to be doing, but we're shipping first on PC because our beautiful PC audience. Make a B is, make the BFG uh, laser beam with slingshot. Uh, yes. by the hour, uh, forward artillery uh, already exists, Savage. I don't know what you mean. And we need your help to uh, smooth those out before we go into certification. Fix the yeah, fucking slingshot. I, like, I, love, I yeah. love the idea of the fact that the quest is going to be sim ship because it won't sim be, ship. you know, if you're, uh, you're, you're, you're a player. There's no spoilers, exactly. That's there's right, no chance. Yeah. Everyone's going to get at the same time. Maybe that's, Hockey Bukusa, cool, but I don't. I don't yeah, they haven't so really. You're a console player. Yeah, you're probably right, Hockey Bukusa, but they haven't really explored that a whole lot from what I, from memory. So, yeah, I don't know. Also, hi to the 20 people on Twitch and the 16 people on YouTube. Hey, how's it going? You'll be able to, uh, you might see those, you know, design changes come earlier to Railjack, but it's, you won't have to avoid the forums for story spoilers because we're yes. going to simulate that. Unify the emotional weight of what's coming with Call of the Tempestari because you'll all get to, hmm. you know, you all. I have a lot of unified emotional weight. I need to shed some of that, but that's all right. All that's right. Good. We'll even do a next question from Tactical Potato. Question one Guns versus melee. Are there oh, any here we, plans? I knew he was going to ask this. Here we go. He was gonna ask this. Here, here we go. go. Any plans to bring the damage of primary and secondary weapons up in line with our melee scaling to balance things out, or are are you happy with the gulf between weapons? This is actually why I like Tactical Potato. Because for the most part, his content is actually pretty good. And this is actually a legitimate question to ask. Um, there are some things, obviously, that primary weapons can do that metal weapons can't. For example, being able to hit enemies from a range. But I do agree. The melee damage does seem to outclass primary damage by a significant portion. What about Brozine? No, fuck that guy. We are not happy. Um, uh, you know, good and hell well what I think about Brozine. videos that have demonstrated the absurdity uh, that is the melee in the steel path. Um, going back to your video you made, Reb, about um, you can <laughs> exactly the Jago Bob smashing me. You made the whole thing. You have more people in your ship. Um, yeah, you will. Joe, I'm very curious about how. Fuck! Why can't they talk about Commander Intrinsics? Um, I'm very interested to see what the relationship between Commander Intrinsics and having uh, other players in your ship is going to be. So we'll see. No, Kate? What? What's wrong? Yeah, Joe. This ain't the point. 
what's the what am I missing? Where's the squad link? That is also a very good question. Where the fuck is squad link? Who uh, who worked on these systems uh, daily? Uh, took that to heart a lot and has been spending a lot of time um, making changes without necessarily directly nerfing melee, but looking at mods that can be added to the primary and secondary system um, that will bring those um, up to the level of melee, but maybe dropping melee in a, not necessarily a power, but a functional way as well. So a lot of the- They're not, uh, okay. Let me say this right now. Not a year before, we're not going to balance around Steel Path. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that shit. Okay. Um, hey, Ricky. I'm going to say something that's potentially controversial, okay? Now, I want to know if you completely agree or disagree with me on this, okay? You ready? This is going to be controversial, maybe. Maybe. I think melee should be nerfed. But not by a lot. I think melee should be nerfed by by uh, by a, a bit. So, for example, right now the 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 damage, the damage sort of relationship between primary and melee. You've got like primary primary secondary weapons around here, which is like fucking low. Nerf clone and prime. And then you have melee weapons that are like all the way up here, all the way up here. You're talking about shit like condition overload, which is fucking insane. You've got shit like. Blood Rush, which is absolutely insane. There's, there's a lot of things in melee that make it absolutely insane. What I think is, bring it down. So, this much. This much. Whatever the hell this much represents, bring it down by this much. You get that? Bring it down by this much. So that you can then bring primary and secondary weapons up by a lot. So it's going to still be a big buff to primary and secondary weapons, but you still need to nerf melee weapons. Otherwise, if you just do this, if you just do this with primary and secondary weapons, if you just do this, this game's already too fucking easy. So we kind of need to bring everything back up to somewhere, right? We need to bring everything back. We need to bring everything down a bit. How to nerf the remove? No, no, no. It's the combo multiplier. It could be the combo multiplier. It could be a lot of things. There's a lot of things involved that make that make melee fucking insane. You know, there's a lot of things that make melee fucking insane. Condition overload, blood rush, weeping wounds. I'm gonna even put that in there. Uh, the combo, uh, uh, the combo counter. Uh, the fact that the combo counter and blood rush and status, status uh, and weeping wounds basically means that even if your weapon has jack shit um, crit chance and jack shit status chance, you can still make it have fucking insane crazy shit status chance and crit chance. The fact that all of that matters. Uh, the fact that stats to some extent doesn't really matter for the long part for the uh, for the most part because it still like fucking does crazy shit damage anyway. Uh, the fact that the combo multiplier also buffs the damage of your fucking weapon to begin with. The fact that um, nowadays things like sacrifice Official steel mean that if you happen to have a if you if you happen to do a uh, uh, heavy attack your uh, your crit chance on your heavy attack is fucking insane compared to um, the normal crit chance all of that shit there's like fifty thousand different things that come together to make the fact that to 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 uh, to, to make uh, melee fucking insane so you need we need to really curb that in I really think we need to curb that shit in and that's before I even talk about ribbons that's before I even talk about fucking ribbons like we need there's a lot of shit that needs to get that really, I think, really needs to be brought in to at least a level that is still is still strong, but not like fucking easy mode. You know, I don't want this game to be fucking easy mode. That's the deal, okay? And if, but if primary weapons are brought up to the same level as melee weapons right now, yeah, this game's fucking easy mode. So that's what I reckon. It's something like that. It's always going to be easy mode. <laughs> Especially with the fucking railjack changes. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> as long as my heavy attack Zorbill continues to give me infinite energy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That could be. That. Yeah. Hey, how can you start? Don't forget dispensary exists. So this game is already fucking easy mode too. Like it's already. Like just because it's already easy mode doesn't mean it should be too easy. You know. I don't want this game to be too easy. It's already. It's already. It's already getting, like, too easy. That's the deal. So, yeah. 
uh, stances and combos, every hit was a stagger or stun, which is basically free CC all the time. So looking at going through each of the attacks and the stances and uh, potentially removing some of the staggers and stuns that are just built into every hit. Um, he's pitched probably three or four different, or more than three or four, probably 10 different mods um, that mod changes plus additional mods that are going to be added to the primary and secondary pool plus just remove self some of the melee ones um we're also looking at whoa hold on, hold on, hold on. what was that additional mods that are going to be added to the primary and secondary pool plus some changes to some of the melee ones okay um we're also looking at okay i just want to start i just want to say right here this person in the chat so nerfs sigh. This is the kind of mentality that makes it really, really fucking difficult for any balance to to exist. As soon as DE's like, we're gonna nerf this because it's too strong. Oh no, they're nerfing something again. Oh, why are they doing that? Oh fuck, D, they don't know how to make a game. Oh, why do they have to nerf anything? Oh fuck. That's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. Okay, that kind of mentality doesn't help anyone. Okay. It's a game, it needs to be balanced. And right now you have something that's way too overpowered. You have something that really is way too overpowered. It needs to be brought down. I don't care if it's a PvE game or a PvP game. Let's be real here. Things need to get brought down. These things need to get balanced. Otherwise you don't even have a game. Not all nerfs are bad, true. But like, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, what the fuck? Like, listen. If, if you never nerf anything in the game, very quickly, you don't even have a game. Do we want Warf chat, do we want Warframe to still be a game? That's the big question. Do you still want Warframe to be a game? Or do you just want it to be... Ugh. I don't even fucking know what you would call it, like, just some shit, like, you nerf OP shit, another thing becomes OP? No, not necessarily. Wait, it's a game? Oh, by the way, PB's correct, by the way. Octavia turns Warframe into a fucking movie. You just press three buttons and you're basically good to go. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, do you still want this game to be a game? This game is too power creep? Yeah. And the way to do, and the way to figure that out is maybe to, like, bring things back to a level that makes sense. Jeff it's not healthy for everything to be overpowered. Bringing down the um, attack rate of melee is one of the things. Cool, Saul, when? I think they're going to talk about this uh, soon. Because... Looks better. <laughs> Well, that's what Je Je Jeff I've hates. I've been that saying it. that for years, but <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Twenty twenty two. Jeff is in charge of balance. <laughs> good luck, Jeff. Yeah. So, Fucking good luck, Jeff. So with I think we hey, double K. How's it going? It all up, and I think it's somewhere around two hundred and thirty percent attack speed you can get now on melee by combining all of the different mods that we've uh, released over the years and the prime versions. So, kind of looking at those and potentially uh, two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. What the fuck? You can get 230% attack speed? <laughs> oh, fuck me. Um, we have the idea of parented mods that allow you to not double put ones that kind of do the same thing. So taking those and maybe classifying them down so that we can uh, limit how crazy you can actually make it on attack speed side. So there is definitely going to be some nerfs to melee, but we're looking at, to do it uh, in a way that just basically... Q, um, Q bros on video. Ah, oh, what the fuck, D? He doesn't even know how to make a game. They're nerfing melee again. Fuck. It brings the danger back to the game versus it removes all of the power mm. fantasy that we want. Uh, and then bringing up the, the, the guns to follow. Um, he's got some pretty cool ideas um, to kind of combo the melee with the guns as well. Like on a melee kill, you get a bonus to your primary and Hey, like free Chiro, cheers for the it's birthday like wish. The whole arsenal can like benefit that. itself. Yeah, so basically we're hoping that we can kind of shake up some of the meta. They're kind of doing that already with um, glaives, but uh, we'll of... see mods that we've added to the we'll game. We'll see. I hope that yeah, primary so, secondary yeah, buff is good. Yeah, we'll see what the primary and secondary buffs end up being. On it, and I'm probably butchering this horribly and he's going to message me after this. But. <laughs> yeah. Well, Chad, it sounds like there's good A lot of this discussion won't make won't be meaningful until we see the details. Details, 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 details. What is, what are the mods going to be? Where's the sergeantry work? 
Oh, fuck. That's a good question, PB. Where is the sergeant rework? <laughs> okay, uh, a lot of this discussion is fucking meaningless until we see the details. In the same way that a lot of the railjet discussion is actually kind of meaningless until we see the details. Details, details, details. What exactly is going to get changed? What are the new mods? What is the buff going to be? What's getting nerfed? I want to see details, 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 details. The, co the combo stuff sounds exciting. There's going to be like two a... dev workshops that, uh, yeah, on the yeah. radar, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Line for this? Uh, he's been working on this right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is all... Uh, James, yeah, you missed the entire Railjack part, sorry. It's not Tempestari timeline, though, is it? Uh, I, I don't think, think that, so, no. That, no. It's an internal no. whenever we want to try to do it. Yeah. Yep. Chad is taking it, everything Scott said, as a giant nerf, so I'm sure Joe is... That's all I ever do is nerf things, so <laughs> yeah, I, I here, here we are. Was very True good. statement. Yeah, I think, let's take away some key things. Are like So, for example, if I were to just, as a dev stream host, jump right into, hey, Jeff, like you brought some cool stuff for like a new melee type. Let's go right <laughs> into the ghoul. But the problem yep. is, like, with, like, we have the ghoul saw, we've talked about it. Melee is the... And the, the shiny hot... objects are just black things, I guess? No, 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 I'm saying <laughs> it's important that the work that goes into the content for Melee has a home, and we've just mm -hmm. kind of established that y there's a huge gulf, and there's just small things we're going to look at. Wish they showed more real like the speed. Wish they showed like more than five seconds of uh, of, of something, but still, still. I want to replace my legs with those stars. Interesting take. The goal isn't to take away the power fantasy in the slightest melee. Also, hey, hey Eddie, how's it going? You're new. Warframe strengths when you look at the, the game. <laughs> so it's, I would just encourage the community to A, you know, take a listen to what we said and why we want to do it. And then obviously wait for some write-ups and some facts for everyone. But I think yeah. in the spirit of the content that gets made for melee, and when you do see those attack speed situations that obviously I would say to Jeff's artist artistic sensibilities, you would like the melee world to just be a bit more grokkable when you want to see what's going on, but... Yeah. Grokkable's a word? What the... Wait, what? It just turns into noise for me, for, for sure, for a lot of it. Yeah, it, it's it's yeah. completely nonsensical. You can't even see yeah. what's going on. Yeah. So. So, it, it's... So, and speaking mm, of... Some, I don't necessarily agree with what Scott just said, but okay, sure. Seeing what's going on, um, you put work <laughs> into some melee situations here, such as this ghoul saw, and when you, you know, want to do a finisher, oh, yeah, it'd be finisher. nice to see this happen, or it would be Aww. nice to have a finisher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe that. That's brutal! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? God, the marker uh, would be the debuff uh, price for all tradable age T in the game. Okay. Uh, Haki Pukusa, no, I didn't get an umbral former from watching the stream. Uh, this is a, this is a rewatch. This is a rewatch, so, you know. Uh. That's like That's... a nightmare scenario right there. <laughs> Oh, it's Sheldon's God. nightmare. Yeah, I hate yeah. table sauce. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, China's not going to allow it that. True. It would be true. fun to be able to do these things and and you know see them happen in the sure. in the melee flow rather than you know not. But there's yeah, of course. Pardon? Or, we got any more of this? Uh... Yeah. Where's the riding yeah. animation? There it is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There you have it. This so that's going to be set up as a state change in one of the combos where you can go into the riding state on the... Yeah. Whoa, you get to ride it like just as part of an attack? That's really cool. This is uh, the ghoul saw uh, that they've been meaning to put into the game for a very long time. The weapon, but they're finally so, making it happen. So something you can opt into. And then when you come out of it, it's going to be that attack. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So I like, I like that the TLDR. animators bother to put the particles in. I know. Yeah. They got to sell it, you know? Yeah. They have to so sell TLDR, the are, <laughs> Let's see the stats. Nerfed. Imagine that. It's like, let's see the stats. And then, like, and then, like, the stats are slightly off from being ideal. And then uh, all the YouTubers are like, yeah, this weapon sucks. Um, I'm going to go back to using um, my fucking Zor because uh, this weapon doesn't do enough damage. Uh, so, uh, yeah, like, fuck this weapon. I'm out. Bye. I, and I'll be looking at it like, really? That's all it takes <laughs> for, for for the weapon to uh not to 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 for the weapon to just be slightly off from being like absolutely like hard, highest stats possible. Really? That's what's going to throw you off. You can fucking ride the thing. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> It was a work day and people are asleep. 
dude, it was, it was, when it was happening for me, it was like on a, when it, it was six o'clock in the morning, I was still asleep. <laughs> but you'll be able to have a unicycle. That is not the TLDR. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 like, we clear, yeah, mainly nerd, oh, but Yeah, I'm with you on that one, Stan. Don't do these things. This is bad, because people will quote you. But the, I think the, like, you know, hearing and this hit shell nip on Twitter if you want to talk no, about it. Yeah. No, I think hearing all of this, you know, the first thing my mind goes to is like, okay, so this is a lot of information. Melee is a lot of what lets people kill certain enemies, steal paths yes. specifically. We're, we're, I, I really, really want people to understand that we're really, really trying hard not to just take a nerf to melee. The really, really easy path to this is to just nerf melee. That's not what we're doing. We're looking at things to lower it a little bit and bring the guns up. Yes. So we're, we're yes. raising the power. Do of the that guns. and then do it's that. That's the way the to do it. We're looking at. Do that, yeah. but yeah, then also do that. You gotta do both the at the same time. Really That's the only way this is gonna work. So we need yeah. to add Maybe. Uh, pitchforks to our Warframe merch store. I think no. we, uh, we would sell so many. <laughs> 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 interesting. Is this, is that like inside? No, Lonely Dolphin, you're missing something. Lowering a little bit is not just a nerf, it's a super duper massive omega fucking crazy shit nerf and I can't believe that DE doesn't know how to balance a game. They nerfed it by just a tiny bit and they've ruined the game. What does that mean? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, man. All right, so I should mention that there were a handful of content creators that asked a question of that nature. They just came in at different times. So we had um, uh, Grind Hard Squad asked about uh, updating the melee meta. Uh, Lazar Gaming um, asked about the power gap between ranged and melee, and what are we doing? So that that question was actually the most common from yep. um, that area. So that's probably not a surprise uh, to hear. But... Yeah, the, the the game has become super melee heavy for the high end players, right? It's yeah. The, it's the only game in town. Mm -hmm. So if you if you're here for the guns and you enjoy the gunplay, and and you kind of ignore melee, then you're you're yeah. playing at a disadvantage. Because right as now soon as they call it a nerf, guess what? That. Everyone's so reading in the in the subreddit. To bring the guns. Everyone is reading big melee. time in the subreddit. If they ever say we're gonna have to nerf it, we are all on board with that. Awesome. It's, uh, Q &A streams it's so disappointing. It, uh, very, so this is indeed. I didn't bring enough beers here. This I is crazy. <laughs> All I want is a creator to oh. ask to give Adara's actual abilities. <laughs> hey, Ninjago Bob. I hate to break it to you, but the only way that's going to work. The nerf something r slash or frame. Okay. Uh, the, the, the Ninjago Bob, I, I hate to I hate to break it to you, but uh, I don't even think creators will ask for an, to give Anaris abilities when Anaris mains don't care for Anaris having actual abilities. So I don't know. I'll ask an art question for uh, for for Jeff because we have. Um, is that all the animations for the the ghoul saw? Is there anything more? For the ghoul saw, those are the three I have. Oh, okay, um, cool. I guess. I just uh, to make sure I can see them all. Yeah. There's, oh, there's, it's a new type, so that, that means you have to redo everything. Down, you have to yeah. redo yeah. In the down, or is it going to be a general? Stuff, so. And all and can you stay on it a bit? Or how does how does riding What it melee work? weapon is bad though? Uh, it's part of the it's part of one of the combo chains. So. Ricky, what melee weapon is bad though? Oh, uh, and even then, right now, even the bad melee weapons are still really, are still really good at just dealing with everything. Cronin Prime is bad. Uh, I think that's going to be a controversial statement there, Savage. Um, Mark 1 Bow is bad. <laughs> okay, the bows, maybe. Like the B.O. bows, maybe. But, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What happens when Anaris and Zephyr both use their tornadoes? Uh, nothing, because Anaris will never use the tornado. Uh, look, at the present moment, at the present moment, a lot of the bad melee, mo we melee weapons are still super, are still pretty bloody strong. So then, the big question is, if you nerf it down by a bit, would the still pretty bloody strong weapons go from pretty bloody strong to just bloody strong? Or would they go from pretty bloody strong to dog shit? 
if you're uh, sorry, if you're um, a certain content creator who uh, thinks of numbers and only numbers, uh, you would probably say that it goes from pretty bloody strong to dog shit. But uh, I would say that uh, it'll go from pretty bloody strong to still bloody strong. The question now, the more important question at this point now is, can we bring the bad primary weapons from dog shit to bloody strong. If you can bring the primary weapons from dog shit to bloody strong, I have no problem with there being bad weapons. There's always going to be bad weapons, otherwise there's never good weapons. Like, it's inevitable that there's going to be weapons that are bad, uh, quote unquote bad, they're not even bad. There's always going to be weapons that are weaker and weapons that are stronger. That's just inevitable. Like, I don't know, I don't know, like, what, it's, it's almost impossible to actually do anything about that. A sandwich. Uh, those block terms don't have, don't actually help because the uh, the TTS actually runs with them anyway. So yeah, adding those terms doesn't make a difference. It depends on how exactly they're nerfed. Yeah, look, I think in the end, in the end, we're going to just have to wait for the details to come out because it's fucking impossible to to make to have this discussion without any of the details, without any of the numbers. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I can't I can't theory craft like that because when because when people theory craft like that, guess what? They they're gonna get overhyped about something and then they're gonna get disappointed. So I can't theory craft like that because I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. Okay, let's just keep going. So one of the attacks you can mount it and then stay on it until you opt to come off of it. Oh, you can just keep going. Yep. So cool. Yep. I mean, so so on. On. Is it steerable or are we a straight line thing or what's? You know how these things go. Can you juggle it's, while you're on it. <laughs> Joe it's a K drive now. This is all important stuff. It's gonna. <sighs> hey Stan, Stan says for dual guns, um, may or may not exist in a game called uh, Genshin Impact, uh, because um, uh, each character in Genshin Impact has a stance for a fucking bow. Tart has a fucking stance for a bow. <laughs> Amber has a stance for a fucking bow. <laughs> people, people, all the all the bow users have stances. Let's be real here. So stances for dual guns. This game turns into fucking. Uh, if, yeah, if there's if there's gun stances, this game turns into Genshin Impact. I'm just gonna say it right now. Do you want this game to turn into Genshin Impact? Do you want this game to turn to turn into Genshin Impact? If you say yes, then okay, sure, go for it. Gun stances, 100. If you say no, <laughs> then we don't want gun stances. <laughs> Honkai Impact. There we go. There we go. I don't think that's such a good idea. Turn into like. Yeah, it, it meant to, it was originally going to be just an attack, but it's going to turn into its own vehicle. Like, we all I love that. it. So Maybe yeah, Potato will make a video like next year about like how it's all what? the K drives are uh, imbalanced because oh. it's all about ghoul saw riding. Oh, you never the know. Ghoul saw meta is going to take over. So meta has taken. If, you, if you could go back in time <laughs> to yourself on this stream eight years from now, you'd say, don't release the ghoul saw. It, it ruined everything. So, uh, War of Madding Gacha Pug. Uh, there's also this thing too. We we're just talking about how our K drives are probably going to get wasted because of the ghoul saw. Don't forget that horses are coming. Duveri is going to bring us horses at some point. So yeah. this is going to change the whole game. It's the new copyright. <laughs> oh, right. I got <laughs> the ghoul saw. Yeah, don't release it. Again, through here. Oh god, I think my headphones just died. But we'll see. Uh, all right. So a question from Brozine. Uh, in Oh, here we go! Recent updates, we've seen a good handful of new game modes. Disruption, Scarlet Spear, Orphix Venom. Do any of these game modes speak to Warframe's future in terms of structure, whether that be rewards or gameplay? Pog? That was actually a decent question! Oh my fucking god! Let's keep going. Hmm. I'm such an asshole. <laughs> That's a good question. I, I thought, I, just to talk about the rewards part, I thought that that was a big success and I would credit Scott with that, um, that the reward structure for FX Venom, the way that, that worked out, it was a great idea um, to kind of have the pairing. Um, I don't know if I'm being thrown under the bus here or No, no. I'm not throwing under the bus. <laughs> well, are you I, saying I, you're I, like I, putting the you could earn it or get lucky? Yeah, are you I really like it? that. Yeah. yeah, I really like I really like that. Um I think that's something that I'd like to emulate for in the future as well. So that's I think that was a good indicator for Actual good if you were question to look at that from like Bramo that. Mentor. If you liked it, then you could say that we're what was that, his, that's one that we're taking away as, what is as one that's gonna be useful for mean? the future. Excellent. Uh, Sorry, what's the second question? Oh let's see a remark on that. The we do have a new... uh, kind of confusing. Yeah, it's, a, it's a big question. So the reward structure, and then is the are the gameplay 
structure is also indicative well, of the future. I wouldn't yeah. say that. Well, there is Obviously, a follow-up. Obviously, we're using, we're using oh. the mech stuff. Necromex um, are going to be uh, more generally usable uh, in mm -hmm. um, our next uh, Railtech update. Is that fair to say, Scott? Yep. It's uh, mechs have been integrated into oh, the intrinsics. Oh, yeah, I remember hearing that, oh, Gavin. So I remember hearing that. Anywhere. And yes. then it turns out that, yeah, so oh, the shit. intrinsics that you didn't... I, re I remember hearing that, and then... And then it turns out that it's not condition overload that's dead. It's actually um, prime pressure point that was dead. I remember that. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> so fucking hilarious. <laughs> to be so wrong and so confident at the same time. Holy shit. Let's keep going. Ah, oh, fuck me. There you I go. think, you know, if a player didn't like rank five in tactical or something, maybe mechs have a home there now. You know, something. something. Hog? Hold on, hold on, what did she just say? Rank five in tactical or something, maybe. Oh. Yeah. So you'll be able to kind of use them anywhere. Yes. Yeah, so the intrinsics that you didn't think, you know, if a player didn't like rank five in tactical or something, maybe mechs have a home there now. You know, something. Is that a leak? Is that confirmed? Is that confirmed? Necromech intrinsics is going to be tactical level five. Is that confirmed? I don't know. <laughs> I have no fucking idea if that's confirmed. <laughs> Something like that. Something uh, like that. Uh, follow up on that. Um, Open worlds have seen a lot of advancement in terms of quality since Planes of Eidolon through story and reward confirmed. structure, but tend to have a oh, hang on, hang on. What's advancement this? in terms of quality since Planes of Eidolon. Um, open worlds have seen a lot of advancement in terms of quality since Planes of Eidolon through story and reward structure, but tend to have objectives that boil down to mobile defense in many cases, especially bounties. Is there a want to lean towards more active objectives in the future, or is defense more core to open worlds? That's actually not a bad question. That's actually a pretty uh, good was question. A huge desire to evolve that. Steve was um... mech intrinsics. Uh, no, Josh. The idea is that mech necromechs are going to be part of railjack intrinsics. That's what they. Were, that's what they said last time. I think they're going to stick with it this time, and they're probably going to stick with it when uh, when um, railjack revisited again shows up. I don't know. He was venting, <laughs> I guess, about <laughs> uh, about like his desires to expand on open world gameplay just like recently anyway we know we gotta expand on that and i think there's some stuff in the works with some current open world uh explorations so i, I think when also with the, um, there uh probably when, when railjack revisited comes out baby jack stuff last year i think a lot of people saw that kind of stuff and went oh data mass data mass we're, we're still doing that you know and the, the, the 2012 data mass is still alive are decent uh, questions so, yeah, from we, bramo we and Paga Chen. We don't Paga think that that's, uh i don't think that that's like um we don't feel like that's still a of coffee game mode or like some yeah that was like that was the second question it's actually not a bad question that that's we, actually pretty we good we want to go uh we, we want to go much more diverse and more active for sure um I don't think that's going to be reflected soon, but I think you're going to see. Oh yeah, well, the I, new game yeah, mode, new game the mode, new game yeah. mode in the Railjack stuff will yeah. uh, show you where we need to go. I think we've been eternally not doing tactical well five chase can do something useful. Um, oh, here's the hoping. The kind of here's the hoping hockey bookers that add new game modes. I think we, you know, Orphic Sedum was was a good exception to that, but I don't think that we've been doing enough to revitalize that that old stuff that kind of had musty smell on some of those game modes. Uh, and so that's kind of a, a big kind of the marching orders of our, of our crew is to is to uh, dig a little deeper and maybe even if things are working, if you guys are burned out on them, we got to change it. So must he you smile, pay for resign to uh, ask that question, Steve? Absolutely, I got to do my yeah, that was a... <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I'm You're paying reading... a Bitcoin and it's just going through the roof, so Ooh. it's terrible. How dare you? <laughs> um, our, so we also have a question from um, Sliverito, uh, who wants to know, because of the player's power and damage being so oh, high and easy to output from an execution standpoint, is there a plan to focus on other forms of difficult content, such as high your mechanical difficulties from parkour squad based wait what was that to uh ask that question what Steve? was that question man it's just 
art and damage being so high. Terrible. How dare you? <laughs> um, our, so we also have a question from um, Sliverito, uh, who wants to know, because of the player's power and damage being so high and easy to output from an execution standpoint, is there a plan to focus on other forms of difficult content, such as higher mechanical difficulties from parkour, squad-based puzzles, or larger group content where you must coordinate? Something similar to the old raids? <laughs> Fucking Railjack! Um, <laughs> an eight-person mission split between Railjack and Ground Squad, aka Scarlet Spear, etc. That's your question about Squad Link. Yep, I think a lot of the taking down a terrorist mirrors the tactics of a trial in terms of teamwork and the communication. La la. Uh, yeah, until someone can solo a fucking Railjack anyway. Um, the um, boss design lately has been trying to lean on mechanical dip difficulty versus uh, gear checks. Um, so that's something that we're always trying to be aware of. Uh, I, I keep seeing Raid going by in chat, so... Yeah, but um, Railjack! The Trials stuff... Uh, you had are, it with Railjack! Potentially resurrecting anyway. Trials with the Third I'm sorry. Orb. And making the Third Orb into a, a Trials. So... Ooh. That's, that's in progress mm -hmm. as on paper. Um, so that is something that we're definitely looking at and definitely something we want to bring back to the game. Um, I do agree. They need, decent serve. they need to start doing server bait. They form. need to start getting servers and stuff. Yeah, that's so true. That's, yeah, for sure. I think making the game more difficult. Hey, Vapu Jazz, how's it going? Just d can your gear um, handle this is something that we're definitely always trying to look for. Mm -hmm. It's further than on paper as well. Like <sighs> Railjack. It doesn't matter what your fucking gear Why is for the- Why Megan's microphone looks like someone who is watching a movie and decided to block the screen with his head? Megan? Wait, what do you mean Megan? Where's Megan in all of this? We've got Rebecca, we've got Sheldon, we've got Steve, we've got, um, Jeff, we've got Scott, and of course you've got me as well. You mean Rebecca? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Actually uh, that's what I was saying. Railjack exists. For the most part, your gear doesn't mean jack shit in Railjack. Until you have to deal with some objectives, sure. Or until you have to deal with, uh, yeah, until you until you deal with bro until you deal with borders, until you deal with um, uh, objectives. Your 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 uh, fuck your gear. Doesn't mean shit in Railjack. There's a lot of animation, yeah. Yeah. yeah like, there's, like, there's a lot of active exploration to getting that, getting that and trying to make it right, so we're working yeah, on it. Yeah, from a design Agreed, side, Luby. it's mostly on Agreed. paper on how to make it into a trial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As I guess I should have clarified that. Uh, on the actual boss stuff, it's quite far along, even on content. Yeah. Now, I know with the amount of stuff we've talked about. Uh, I want to make some expectations clear for players in terms of what that actually might look like. So right now, um, I think we've shown sort of the scope of Call of the Tempestari with the quest and stuff and the Corpus Railjack before it. Um, Corpus Liches I saw go by, that's not part of this um, spring 2021 uh, dichotomy that we showed. So just keep that in mind. We'll be giving you updates. Is it not? <laughs> no. Steve Sinclair. Where are you going? <laughs> I need hazard pay at this yeah. point. <laughs> but there is there is a lot of work done on those liches. There's a like, there's a the little piece of regions. there's a little piece of salt. Or, a, I guess you know, that's a bad phrase on the internet. Mm, there's a yeah. little cayenne pepper in Tempestari. So oh, see. I see what you're you'll saying. See. Okay, yeah. Anyway, nudge, um, nudge. could so be taken we'll, on vacation. Either way, we'll be giving you guys timelines or approximate timelines on when you can expect these things because I know um, everyone wants to be... Yeah, I'm lots of pretty much stress tests. I do agree with when, that. When, when, when. So. Well, if you subscribe to um, <coughs> Red Twitter, is that, is that your paid tweets? Talk about all oh, those? Oh, yeah, my paid tweets. Lich Farm, never again. Paid tweets I think the Lich Farm is going to be better when, it, with yes. Railjack involved, but <laughs> still, no, I do agree. The Lich Farm we is a bit tiring. question from Angela Set. I understand content delays in recent events have turned many things on its head. DE had mm -hmm. to scrap many plans as the offices were moved to home. However, mm. what are your thoughts or concerns about the fact that the Lotus has been the spoiler? Lotus has been the spoiler. 
enemy for three years, and a large percentage of the player base really only know her as a purple hologram enemy. Mm. That picks in later. Like, you don't get that right off the bat. So when you get to that part, yeah. Yeah. How do we feel about that? Yeah, there were a lot of bugs in, 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 in trials, uh, but that was still fun. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if pride would be the feeling. No, <laughs> definitely not. Um, let's let's just say it's. we think it's going to be a good year. Yeah. 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 I am very excited. It's, it's going to be a very good year. I'm very excited. New work confirmed. New war confirmed 2021. Let's do it. Get hyped, boys. Get hyped. And not and don't just get hyped, get overly hyped. And don't just get overly hyped, get super overly hyped. And not just that. Get so insanely overly hyped, guys, that when it comes out, no matter what, you're going to fucking hate it. Get so hyped that you're going to hate it no matter what because it's going to not... New War 2035. Exactly. Get so hyped that you will hate it with every moral fiber of your being, no matter what, even if it's like the best shit ever, you're gonna fucking hate it, and then you blame DE. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Get so hyped, everyone. Here we go. Bit of a... Yep. That. You guys are really subtle, you know? There's, there's, no, there's subtlety to what you're saying. <laughs> you know, no one gets it. Oh, this. Yeah, this is yeah. super hard. I just, I will just sit back and continue right, we'll to wait. Do a platinum, platinum price. price. <laughs> platinum price. <laughs> <laughs> Platinum prize. Platinum prize. <laughs> uh, All right, X, the winner is X Zenvin. X no. Zen yeah, X Zenvin. X Zenvin, you've won a thousand platinum. Message us and we'll hook you up after the show. Whisper our page. Question from Karu, one of our artists, creators. Uh, as hmm. someone on the creative yeah, half of the player base, I was always wondering would it be mm. possible to have enhancements or reworks for Captura, specifically the video? Uh, generally speaking, they want to be doing some scenes, video animations. Uh, could we have such power within the capture tools so the fandom can get more creative with them? Uh, you know, can our engine handle more complex cinematic tools in capture? This is a good question. It would be great if it could. I would love to see yeah. it. Steve yeah. likes to say we have the code. Yeah, yeah, we do have yeah. the source code, so yeah. we're able, we are able to modify it. Uh, I, let me think. I would suppose that probably a lot of that would be on the UI team to kind of expose the underlying functionality. Hey, it's also OG. How's it going, mate? Uh, uh, and sorry, but busy? They're busy. They, they are. Well, I mean, they are definitely busy right now. Um, oh, yeah. Rail Jack of Chura, when? Uh, to, to True. Rail Jack of Chura, when? I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. But I think uh, that'd be really... I don't know, we feel Capture has been pretty successful for us, and I, yeah. and I think we definitely are very open-minded to uh, extending it further. Uh, more lighting options, more animation options, I think would be really mm -hmm. cool. I think supporting that aspect of uh, community content is mm -hmm. really important. So They could make yeah. Prime trailers yeah. for you, Jeff. Think about it. That'd be great. <laughs> Fan Prime trailers. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, however, uh, second cool. question from Carew. When can we move sigils all over the body to be more like a tattoo system rather than just chest and back like can we have the projector mm, question arm booty belly that was your question booty? It? no it's not it's not you've been on this like tattoo kick lately yeah well can we move sigils to... <laughs> that should be why yeah, can't we do that that should sigil, be let me think about how the sigil works right right now in the database i believe only uh it's very small in the database there's only like one orientation so I mean, it would be something mm. that we'd look at. The the key thing would be um, someone says tramp, tramp stamps. Stamp or, <laughs> <laughs> the reason how it jumped out and hit me in the eye. Uh, yeah, that, that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be Can we awesome. remove fucking daily um, standing caps? And again, it's it's the getting the time for the UI team to actually. Uh, that's a good question. Put in that feature and then a little bit of work for how we store that. Remember when they said something along the lines of that daily standing would would start to slow down after a certain point? That's not a thing yet, is it? <laughs> so many things to do. So many things to do. Listen, they're going to right now do that. They're probably going to eventually do that one day, but maybe not right now because they want to try and focus on getting Railjack good. <sighs> of course, good is a bit of a strong point right now. Some of the shit that they've come up with is a bit weird. That in the database because it would be... I have to store like a whole arbitrary 3D position in pose space, so... But gotcha. it te technically uh, is not that far of a reach. Gotcha. Uh, we had some questions as well um, from various content creators as well as the community at large about what Sevagoths 
helminth ability is. So later uh, in spring, when you get your Sevagoth, one of them or two, depending on how you roll, you'll be able to sit in your helminth, um, provided you have it. And once you subsume Sevagoth, you will be getting Gloom. So Gloom is Sevagoth's third ability, which we can take a look at. Uh, and you can get Gloom. That's the toilet demon. Work never truly ends, man. It's like the, the helmet knows my, my feel. So what does Gloom do again? I don't remember. <laughs> work, work never ends. Work so never one, thing, ends. one thing we didn't do with Sevagoth last stream, much to my embarrassment, was actually show Sevagoth in the arsenal. And the oh, reason... Wow. The reason this is important is, you know, not only for Life fashion steel? frame, oh, okay. but also, you know, upgrading. Oh, when you're what upgrading the fuck? Warframe, looks like a pink from that flesh jacket green, he's whatever wearing. you choose for such a, you know, build you're going for. But one thing that's coming with Sevagoth, Scott, which you've managed to double the exalted nature. Are you c curling up into a ball right now? <clears throat> no. Uh-uh. You can mod Sevagoth's shadow independently. So when oh, you go okay, into cool. Sevagoth's shadow form, you are essentially able to provide a whole second series of upgrades to Sevagoth's shadow. So you have your Sevagoth. You can make Sevagoth look as you will. You know, maybe you want Jeff? Hmm? No, not that. Not that. Very <laughs> Anything but that one. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? No, OK. <clears throat> uh, a lot of people are saying former hell. Have we forgotten about? Stand allow. Have we forgotten about a little-known Warframe called? Uh, well, first off, that's like an exalted. Okay, so that's like an exalted. A lot of Warframes already have exalted weapons. Don't forget, you could technically have another Warframe who is who is former hell called Titania Prime. Titania slash Titania Prime. Remember, this chick has not one, but two exalted weapons. Now, granted, I haven't actually bothered to form her by Duwada yet, so eventually I'll form her by Duwada, and then she'll really become former hell. But, uh... Kind of already exists. Now, I think the big question... Well, we'll see if it really is going to be uh, former hell. Like, we'll see... We'll really see if it really does become former hell. Because... I, 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 I'm not, I'm not as concerned right now. I'm not as concerned. The big question for me is not necessarily how many former I'm going to be sinking into Sevagoth. The big question for me is how long is it going to take to level up Sevagoth's shadow again? Is Sevagoth's shadow going to level, level, going to be tied to, uh, uh, Sevagoth himself? Or is the shadow going to have its own levels? And if it's going to have its own levels, is it going to have... Warframe levels, or is it going to have weapons levels? That's the big question. I want the pentor colors for sure. I just tested no. how dumb fast Titania is yesterday. Very dumb fast. <laughs> but you can also have your shadow look a little different too. So, you know, say, say I don't know, Jeff, you can see real. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's very uh, regal. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm glad I have yeah, hundreds yeah, of former. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, even no, have hundreds that's, of former. I haven't bothered to make yeah. former on a regular basis. That's cool. Yeah, you can get your Sevagoth going. So I have my two different forms here. And then, of course, the Shadow has claws, which you can also oh. um, upgrade as a, as a melee oh. weapon. OK, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ignore everything I just said. <laughs> Fucking ignore everything I just said. <laughs> Is it, this is actually going to be former hell? Yeah. <laughs> Forget everything I just fucking said. So you can kind of go through. Which needs an icon, by the way. I was say, there's, there's, there's a few UI hookups that haven't been yeah. done, obviously. Thanatos. Thanatos. Uh, Scythe. Really isn't. In before you have to potato both Sevagoth and Shadow. Oof. No, in before you have to. No, in before you have to potato Sevagoth, his Shadow, and his Shadow's fucking claws. Imagine if you had to do all that. Ooh. It isn't as subtle, this, uh, this shadow form, is it? No. no. It's <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's so rad. Yeah, and um, Sevagoth is shipping with a signature weapon, so why don't we take a look at that in action here? Um, cool. 
their sidearm, which oh, actually I just wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. I just wanted to quickly do a shout out to some of the UI um, improvements coming as well. We are getting a new skin on, not skin, a new treatment on the world state window up here just to have um, a little more usability for. Is it going to fix that, that shit where sometimes some the thing graphics. just doesn't bloody work? And yeah, so let's. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Let's hop in. Okay. I'll just use the sidearm for a little bit just to give... Uh, again, this is um, coming with update 30, Call of the Tempestari, Sevagoth, signature weapon, all that jazz. I knew that question was going to come. Which one? Chroma. Oh, about modding, like, Chroma's... Oh, like, could you do... Pelt yeah. separately? Oh. This is your own fault, really, Squirrel. It is. Mod it is. pelt. <laughs> all right. Let's see this. Okay, Your before I do anything, really, really important part of the agile animation for supplies. Sevagoth. This is very Make important, chat. <laughs> very important. Oh, how oh. cool is that? Nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that. Pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. Make it normal mission, Wendy. Uh, Railjack revisited, apparently. Quite as cool weather. Whatever, it's fine. Wait, you don't like the color? You only get one chance at a first impression. That's fine. Yeah. Well, is that Razor and Warframe? True. Give uh, give Sephiroth a fucking um. Give Sephiroth a uh. Galaxy Pro no, give Seven Gods uh, Grand Prime, and then you have Razor and Warframe. Hey, Seth Lost of Virus, how's it going? <laughs> anyway, the sidearm right. is a wrist-mounted wrist sidearm that you can, so I'm just going to use Gloom so everyone can, so Gloom is the one that spreads and you can get health steal on kills, it slows enemies down, um, that's the... It's really sad too. <laughs> gloom is also It's very sad. gloomy. <laughs> it's very, they're very sad, they're crying under their helmets right now. <laughs> Uh, it is the helmet ability, but also the wrist-mounted sidearm. Uh, you can do quick taps for, you know, your headshots. Yeah, that sounds or pretty nice. you can nice. do a charge shot, which will slow with a cold proc enemies in it, so you can easier, more easier shoot their heads off. So it's just a little... Slow huh. on your slow. Interesting. Okay. Slow on the slow. This could be fun for, like, a bit. So, yeah, and when you're before with, I, go, um, before I inevitably go back to using Sinnoh Gamma Core, because I have a problem, a, uh, I have a problem, I don't know how to fix that. that. Nice. Like, I, I will probably end up going back to set on Gamacore anyway, but still, this is pretty nice. Nice little bit of gameplay <laughs> there. There comes that blue shadow. <laughs> Indeed, there it is. Sure it. It. That's a sign of call better. Natural. Mm, maybe. Very natural. And you can do a little so. Her uh, not picking so. up the star is annoying you. And then, of course, <laughs> once you're, um, death well. Hey, listen. Her showing a rail jack with only void hole and nothing but void hole was irritating. It's full. You can summon Sevagoth shadow. So that's uh, yeah. It essentially do here, it essentially doesn't have a magazine. Reap what I sow. I think I'm ready to to call the the big blue. Big blue. Here comes big blue. <laughs> there you go. I oh, that's 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 awesome. to the area. So huge. Activating it will buy you. Go. Yeah, he needed he needed a custom camera because he was taking so the entire screen. <laughs> Okay, cool. Anyway. Of course. I think they all got, they all got custom dodges too. They did, so custom dodges. Great and uh, Reaper. Yeah. So oh, guys. custom yeah. custom yeah. movement animation. Nice. Move the camera might not be uh, hooked up for those. <laughs> well, <laughs> there you have we're it. doing it live. That doing it great. live. All right, needless to say, Sevagoth is going to be uh, having quite a time terrorizing the enemies of the um, origin system. So, there you have it. Cool, that's great. Excellent. Uh, we'll see if the AOE way. is actually that strong. It's probably it's probably less. Crouch too. It's probably not as strong to be able to kill a lot of enemies, but we'll see. Shadow crouch. We have a question from Natural Candy. Are there any new stories planned for the Stalker? It's been a long time since the second dream. Haven't heard from him. Poor guy. Mm. Poor guy. What, what say you? Put him in the closet. I kind of wonder what's going on with Stalker these days. Like, mm -hmm. last, last he's getting saw, regularly he's, wrecked by me. Feels like a community project. Like, there's yeah. gonna be a whole video of sad I, Stalker. I, I, thought, I thought there was gonna be like some surprise, some surprise thing we're gonna show. Like, oh, what, what, what's going on? This is I'm asking yeah. Steve. What is happening? What is happening with? Yeah. Well. Hmm. 
Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate to say stay tuned. I, you know, I really feel like over the last year or so, we, uh, I, I personally overpromised, and I just want to start delivering, so I'm not going to say much. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right. Like that works. Time. That works. Time. Uh, we have some questions uh, from, actually, what, we have to do more Platinum Prizes, so let's do another one of those. Okay. We'll do another Platinum Prize. You should be able to see that uh, show winner. up now. Yeah, I love this in real time. It's exciting. Um, we had a question. Oh, Squirrel M. Squirrel M, you've won 1,000 Platinum. Whisper us, and we'll hook you up after the show. Squirrel M, way to go. You did it. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. So C Corporal Face Hugger wants to know, my biggest question is when are we going to get Necromex in normal missions? Orphix Venom wet my appetite and I want Yeah, more. isn't that coming with Railjack oh, Revisited? Yeah. Are you enjoying the view? When? In about to attempt AR survival while watching Akate Gary's Twitch tanked R. Be explicit that. Uh, I guess it's the, what was it, 29.999 update? Uh, actually, I'm glad you asked. It would be 29.10. No. Yeah, 29.10. So yeah, it's coming know. with this. Where exactly. It's coming with this. Where did that come from? That's the way we roll. In that update, it, it will be in the intrinsics. The, one of the intrinsics will allow you to spawn your mech. Stupid tip number two. Got it. Do you want... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. PB, PB, PB. Before you start. Do you want to start a uh, thing? We'll start a thing. Uh, prediction. Uh, Savage, can you start the prediction, please? Um... Uh, Basically, will PB's computer crash in a, during a one-hour su uh, su uh, survival mission? Just start the prediction, please. Thank you. 9.10. That's how So yeah, it's coming with Railjack Revisited. We know this already. We did promise a little bit of Zephyr Deluxe in-game. So Void Rig big damage onto bad. Yeah, yeah, Void Rig already does tons of damage too. For the world of my cool Zephyr. Okay, cool. This is with the uh, Deluxe animations as well, the Deluxe Agile. So this is Zephyr Deluxe cool. coming uh, with the second part update. He's going to give... Uh, also, Octavia Zephyr rework, uh, Zephyr yeah, Minor yeah, Rework is also coming with this as well. Pretty hip. There was a last minute change uh, that didn't get added. Pulse personal... Wait, wait, wait. Badis, what do you mean? It's going to get added on, her, on the chest and everything, so... Uh, it was added late though. Sephiroth does yeah. look like an Abyss Mage. Yeah, I said that last time, I think. He does look like an Abyss Mage. I, I could show this in-game um, as well, but I don't have the transparency, so Plat? it's up to you, Jeff. Really, yeah, Plat is purchasable. Yeah. Purchasable, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Plat is purchasable. Is yeah. yeah. All right, let's do that. Do you have the idols purchased? Uh, I do, I do. I do indeed. I just, uh, I need to pre-process them. a little bit of jitter on that winglet? What, what did I see there? All the Lux skins no, are purchasable know. by Plat. Yes, oh, no, correct. Not. What did you There's see? jitter. Steve will find it. There was a little bit of like uh, attachment mm. lag or something. I don't know. While I'm waiting for my game to pre-process the, I did actually get some character changes, but obviously oh, not. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's go right oh, to game. Well, we see it. Yeah, you do. But we can. Uh... Oh yeah, so that chest piece is supposed to be transparent. Yeah. So Zephyr Deluxe is coming with the UI, the landing craft, the... Oh, my dog is not interested in <laughs> yeah, Zephyr Deluxe. Like, I have no, no one out of here. He's got no time for that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Coopers are not... I like that. So very, very cool. You got Zephyr on the leg, head in the clouds on the arms. We got some... Uh, Tenoch yeah, Tenoch is paid with IRL money, unless you're on console, with, console, with, console uh, in which case it's also played with, paid with Plat. When you go to so the, it just depends uh, on, like, what, what the, uh, platform uh, you're on. I don't know if you can, can you there's no, uh, again? I there's no Steam store. Legs, like the thighs, especially. Car paint? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's so cool. It's... Okay. So oh, nice. You'll probably see this on a lot of Warframes. That's pretty good. Car paint shader coming 2021. And the operator is in the works right now. Yes. For the... You yeah. got it. Wow. There you have it. So that's coming with uh, the update 30 segment uh, on simultaneously shipping on. Oh, I can't actually be part of the prediction. <laughs> uh, we do have some more questions. Uh, one of them was a follow up from Sliverito. Uh, just By the way, the, the prediction ribbons. for. Is there uh, discussion about the ability? To Hang on. Uh, for people on Twitch, a prediction has now been made. Will PB's computer crash during a one hour survival mission? Uh, wait, no, sorry. No, not, not, not crash, sorry. Will PB's computer survive the one hour endurance run? Yay or nay, go. You gotta restart Warframe before you start. Wait, does that mean you already crashed? 
ability to lock stats on a ribbon. Say after X amount of rolls, uh, being able to lock a stat is permanent for a large investment in Kuba or otherwise. So I get my Nell ribbon, it has multi-shot, something else, and I want to keep one stat but re-roll ah, the rest. the ribbon that, locking um, thing, yes. Will that be a thing? Something that's on one's discussions plate. It isn't. That's, it. That's fine. Um, it, it, it isn't at this point. Jeff, uh, um, sorry. Scott, Scott's just knocked like, already. I just got so mad about that question. Just I, hate that. That question. <laughs> I hate that question. I hate that question. It's that amazing internet again. Oh, yeah. yeah. How's, that new, how's that new Wi Fi working out for him? I wonder. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Discord, stop crashing. Uh -huh, yeah. It's yeah, it's totally Discord. Good lord. It's totally Discord's fault. Totally. It wasn't that question at all. <laughs> I Honestly, he's just like he's like I'm done. If the answer yeah. is you haven't discussed it, that's the answer. Yeah, that's I mean fine. we, haven't, don't need we to... haven't discussed it. Um, I think uh, if you've been watching the whole stream, we have a lot of uh, design ambition right now that we're kind of clearing through, um, starting with um, you know making Railjack live more up to his promise, and then moving on into um, gun balance things. Uh, so. I I, I actually, I'm actually uh, in the camp of the idea that a Riven, sl uh, a Riven stat PB should be given the opportunity to be locked for, yeah. Hey, not hokey, how's it going? You're new, how's it going? Uh, I'm, I'm of the opinion as well that the, uh, that a Riven, when you're rolling, you should be able to have the opportunity to lock a stat for additional Kuva. That way you can save stats and then roll on the other stats. I think this is actually a, 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 a good idea. Uh, apparently, they haven't gone around to figuring it out yet. That's fine. When they get around to figuring it out, then uh, then we can have that discussion. But until then, I guess we'll just have to keep waiting. Well, I think those will probably would trump the uh, oh, bad word, but uh, probably would uh, take precedence over uh, Riven changes. Makes sense. From the art and story point, uh, grind hard squad wants Genshin to know to do stack locking. Frames be uh, lowly Dolphin, I wouldn't use Genshin. <laughs> I wouldn't use Genshin for, as a uh, as 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 a uh, uh, as a role model for a lot of things. I would not use Genshin as a role model for a lot of things. There are only like maybe a handful of things that Genshin does that I would probably consider pretty good that uh, Warframe could learn from. But for the most part, <laughs> I wouldn't use Genshin as a role model. Beyond Excalibur in the works. A spore lads a kit gun. Nice. What was that? Number frames beyond Excalibur in the works. It's over uh, Riven changes. Makes sense. From the art and story point, uh, Grind Hard Squad wants to know, are Umbra Warframes beyond Excalibur in the works? Please no! Is yeah. the score going to crash again? I think it's yeah. Crash. yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, Bad Crow, how's it going? Oh, sorry. Hey, Crow, how's it going? <laughs> uh, we really love that Warframe. We don't have any there in development right now. I'll I think say fuck. if you have been following dev streams, um, we have a lot in development right now that we need mm -hmm. to deliver first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here's the thing. I don't like the idea of there being yet another, uh, yet an, uh, another Umbral Warframe. You know why? Because we have prime warframes. They're supposed to be like, they're supposed to be this sort of pinnacle of power, right? Umbral Excalibur is fine because it's essentially Excalibur prime, but Umbral, so that's okay, whatever, cool, you know? But if you start to have Umbral Mag, then what the hell's the point of Mag Prime? If you start to have Umbral Vault, what's the point of Vault Prime? If you have uh, eventually, what that also means is eventually you're going to have Umbral Titania. What's the point of Titania Prime? If you have Umbral uh, Banshee, what's the point of Banshee Prime, right? Right now, the point of the regular Warframes is to just give us an idea of what they can do. And then for some of us, uh, they might just go hardcore on formering it as well. Cool. Good for you. You can do that all you want. That's great. Uh, but eventually, you, you're doing that knowing that eventually Prime's going to show up. And when Prime shows up, uh, your regular your regular Warframe is either just going to get helmets or you chuck it, you know? So what we do right now with our regular Warframes, we do under the premise that we're going to have a Prime Warframe eventually. To introduce an Umbral, for, to introduce an umbral Warframe at that point, I feel like that just fucks up everything. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea, but I don't know. What I think should happen instead is the one thing that Umbral, umbral uh, Warframes can do 
Umbral Nidus makes sense though. Uh, not if Nidus Prime exists. So if you're saying Umbral Nidus instead of uh, Nidus Prime, uh, we can have a we can have an interesting discussion there, right? Here's the thing: the way that you could make Umbral Warframes a thing is if simply by putting an Umbral Former onto a Warframe, that Warframe then gets the Umbral uh, passive, which is to be able to move around when your operator is around. I would, that's how you would bring me on board with this. Okay? I think that might be, a, I think that would be a good idea. So then, the idea is, you put an umbral former, which by the way, is a very fucking restrictive former right now. Because, because right now, you, you don't really want to put an umbral former on any, any other, any random ass warframe. You want to put an umbral former really on a tanky warframe. Because, let's be real here, if you're just going to put an Umbral Formal for the purpose of using Umbral Intensify, that's a lot of effort for what is essentially just 15% extra power strength. Like, wow, whoopty fucking do, you know? What you want to do is maybe put an Umbral Formal on Oberon, because then you could put an Umbral Vitality, Umbral Fiber. That'd be really, really good on Oberon. You want to put an Umbral Formal on, uh... If not Excalibur because um, you, know, you, you know what I mean you want to put an Umbral Former on Warframes that are generally going to be able to use more than just one of the Umbral uh, mods and you only want to put it on a Prime obviously you don't want to put an Umbral Former on fucking uh, Banshee Regular because Banshee Prime exists like that that's a that's a that's, that's an insane idea you know I agree if my operator didn't turn off my exalted blade. yeah we'll see if uh, we'll see what they do about that the way Alternatively, though, if they bring in Umbral Redirection or Umbral some other shit, then, you know, then we can have a completely different discussion then. But for now, most of the frames are not going to benefit from having an Umbral Former in it. You can have a Wukong clone and mech, like, one-man army. Yeah. I mean, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. What are Riven mods? Wait, Zoz, what do you mean? Either way... Having an actual Umbral Warframe, I think, is not going to be a good idea. Right now. I'm open to... I'm open to someone trying to convince me that it would be a good idea, but you're going to have to convince me why having an Umbral, mo umbral uh, Warframe on top of a Prime is a good idea. I don't think that's going to be a good idea. And then when it comes to... War okay, when it comes to weapons, that's totally different. When it comes to weapons, that's a completely different discussion. Because you only want to put Umbral Former on melee weapons right now, because Sack Steel and Sack Pressure Point only exist for melee weapons. There's no Sacrificial Serration or anything like that, so... Yeah, we're just gonna have to see. Some people put all the Umbral mods just for that 22%, 22 extra strength. Yeah, that's weird. See, at that point, like, you, we want to put it on for that extra, uh, strength, but also for that extra health and that extra armor. If you're only doing it for, for the extra strength, that's a lot of fucking effort for f barely any gain. You know, so, yeah, we're just going to see. We're just going to have to see what happens. Like, I put two Umbral Former on Mag. For that power strength. But, yeah, so obviously, okay. The Universal Mag build. Right, the Universal Mag build. I have put two Umbral Former on that Universal Mag build. So, under normal circumstances, you may be thinking, okay, that's really cringe. But I'm doing that specifically to serve a purpose. So, I can at least argue, right that when I do something like, not like this, um... So I can argue, right, when I do something like this, where I get it up to 155% power strength, on paper, that's pretty cringe, to put two Umbral Former for just, uh, 25% uh, extra power strength. On paper, that's really cringe, but! I can at least make the argument that I want to do that, because that, it, that will get me as close as I can to the Fracturing Crush cap, without having to put something like Power Drift. That way I can then put something like... What the fuck? Oh, right, fuck, because I'm using Equilibrium and shit like that. Um, that way I can then be like, I want to put in something like this. And... This. At least then I can make the argument, I want to do that mainly because I want to be able to use the... the almost the cap of Fracture and Crush, while still having the space for Prime Sure Footed. I could, li I could at least make that argument, and then if you still think it's cringe, that's fine, whatever. We can, uh, oh fuck, no, it will be this. We can, we can figure it out from there on, and there on, and then on, and then on, right? But for the most part, a lot of Warframes, if you're going to put in two Umbral Former just for that 25% power strength, without any real reason, that's gonna be pretty weird. 
You know, it's a lot of fucking effort for essentially just twenty five percent extra power strength. Like, wow, okay, bit strange. You could just put August Secrets instead of Umbral Vitality; it'd be way better. Maybe, maybe. Like, there. At that point, I would also then say like the extra health is a little bit useful, but yeah, you 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 could still make the argument that there are better ways to deal with what to do with what I'm trying to do, but. You know, we can at least have that discussion, and at least I can at least have a foot to stand on by saying, I'm doing it this way for this reason, you know? Um, as opposed to what I do right now, which is this. Um, so anyway, yeah, there's something to think about. Hey, Ali the Gamer, how's it going, mate? Oh, shit. I legit made a better Ludomag build than Kate and didn't even require two Umbral Former. Hey, PB. Uh, I don't know how many times I have to say this. I probably have to say this every single time I do a mag build. The two Umbral Former is not required. The two Umbral Former is never be has never been required. You can you can make any of my builds without two on reformer. The only build that you may want to you may struggle making of mine is maybe the universal mag build. No, 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 universal mag build because I put in two on reformer for for a purpose for that purpose. But generally speaking, you can make an, any one of my builds and potentially make a better build because you're not going to be relegated by those two by that two on reformer in the uh, in the umbral um, sunk cost fallacy. So it would it does not surprise me that you can make a better mag Luda mag build without two Umbral Former. When in, if anything, the two Umbral Former on my mag right now is actually kind of um, detrimental to um, any other build that isn't the Universal mag build. So, yeah, doesn't surprise me. You may think it's a win, but it's not. Oh shoot. Uh, that's a great question, and I don't think it's yet the time to, to do that, but I think that's definitely something that's possible in the future. You got it. All right. Well, I'm just going to make sure we've gone over um, virtually everything I brought with me in the asset side of things. And generally speaking, we have. We showed a little bit of... Um, that was a lot of information. It was, and I think that we are... Shai's going to have her work cut over. I know I have a lot of work to do today, but what can you do? Run the stream, <laughs> summarize the stream. <laughs> All right, so what we'll do is we'll, maybe if there's any um, pets, pets. What if I just like a pets frame 2. I no played off Actually, I have one right here. Uh, Sheldon, where is the pets 2.0 as discussed on a dev stream in uh, 20? Yeah, at that point, matters to answer your question. Is it okay to umbral a Warframe that if you just like playing it? Yeah, perfectly, perfectly okay to do it. Uh, if anything, I would, uh, if anything, right at the start when umbral former first came out, that would be my go-to answer. Should I umbral? Should I put my umbral former on this warframe? My first question would be, well, do you expect to be using that warframe anytime soon? And do you expect to use it a lot? If the answer is no, don't fucking waste your umbral former on it. Even if it's like, even if it's like the big dick metal way to use your umbral former, don't fucking waste it on it. Uh, these days, it's somewhat easy to get umbral former, so uh, even more reason to just put it, slap it on whoever you're going to use the most. Go for it. Fucking go nuts. Because no matter what, you're going to get more power straight, so unless it's fucking Loki, in which case you probably do it for more vitality, I guess. I don't know. Hey, me, so how's it going? Uh, welcome back, Devov. Eat 19. How do you, uh... He lost on that kid. <laughs> Pets, pets, pets. We did have a lot of pets 2.0 questions. Actually, I have one right here. Uh, Sheldon, where is the pets 2.0 as discussed on a dev stream in 2019? How do you... Uh, he lost on that kid. What's the disconnect <laughs> button again? How, how do I do that? How do I... I'll do four quickly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that might be... Uh, Savage, do you want to set up that poll? I should, I should bite my tongue on as well and not make any promises on it, but, but it's definitely uh, set, still... Set up the poll uh, on a straw poll and then DM, DM me the link. All right. But I won't make any more promises about it. Why is it a poll? That's yeah, fair. We, we want that. Miso did suggest a poll. All right. Some new pets coming with the queen pin, so. Uh -huh. This yeah. is true. Maybe it's new pets coming with queen pin? Ooh. 
All right, we have a pretty good hold on all the uh, questions I received, and generally speaking, they've talked about Raljak at the start. Basically, been, you like, missed it all. Sorry, about reacting to what we're saying, asking their own questions, mm-hmm. whether it be from raids to other things. But we are going to start. This is going to be a two and a half. Now. I don't know if there's any. This, this dev stream is going to be a two and a half hour close off for uh, a month till our next dev stream. So holy fuck, we have more time in between them. So speak now or forever hold your peace is what I'm saying. I mean, it's exciting between now and the next. Stream, can I help you get Octavia Prime? Uh, yeah, sure. I can probably 13, try and help you. Oh, no, 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 no. Whatever it is. Right? Fuck. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, how, how, how do we get rid of that poll? Let me do it. Let me do it. I bet do it in, um, do it through, uh, uh, do it through straw poll. Because then I can also include the YouTube chat in, in the poll, you know? By doing it just as a Twitch poll. You're only letting the Twitch people figure it out. I kind of want to put it uh, with uh, Twitch and YouTube. Whatever, fuck it. We'll just keep it's going. It's coming between those two, those two points. So there's big stuff coming between now and the next test stream. It's exciting. Yeah. yeah. Anything else from how to remove? Yeah, I don't know. I thought the questions are great, and, mm-hmm. uh, and I'll set up. I'll set up the poll. I'll I set up just, the poll. Yep. Yeah. I'm extremely grateful for the questions and for the support from people. And uh, if you picked up Octavia, thank you very much. Um, that's awesome, and uh, funds Warframe continued development as we celebrate our eighth years of dev stream. It's pretty crazy. Uh, it's pretty crazy, and uh, I have an age today, so I really, <laughs> really, really feel fortunate. <laughs> just moving up the vaccine. Yeah, queue. just moving up the vaccine queue. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're like Ned Flanders. You're like get your your senior citizens discount. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, and uh, I think I've been reading chat, and uh, I do see the usual list of questions. Those usual list of questions usually mean that when we discuss our dev streams after, when we're talking with our team, we're usually kind of using this as a temperature check from all of you who are watching and, and, and typing in chat, and it uh, is something that we use as a kind of a, a rudder to guide our next uh, steps. Obviously, we're moving towards call a Tempestari and Corpus Railjack and a rework of the Railjack system and its rewards and its progression. And then moving into getting into uh, the larger story of Warframe and then also looking at some of the technical challenges uh, that uh, seems popular with our players like cross progression, all that sort of stuff. But again, um, we don't have anything to announce about those things right now, but we absolutely, you are heard and you are seen uh, in chat when you are all capsing that repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, then we'll wrap it up. We have more announcements later in uh, March, of course, regarding like anniversary, like game anniversary stuff. And so stay tuned to our marketing <coughs> channels for those. Otherwise, <coughs> log into Warframe play the gift of the lotus alerts they are live oh, yeah. on go all platforms yeah. go get them uh thank you so much to the warframe community for eight years of sticking around maybe you're new maybe this is your first dev stream or otherwise uh we are looking forward to getting lots of good posts your way about things changing features coming to warframe updating it um everyone you know even though we're all at home we're working t- together as hard as we can oh savage you actually set up a straw poll really, really special ah, year for warframe just do my and one guys just do my one love what we do so we are Looking forward to everything that comes from updates to dev streams to everything else. So thank you, everyone. Thank you guys for your time today on the dev stream side. Really appreciate you uh, coming around. And thanks to everyone at Digital Extremes working on. Yes, I was going to say, Absolutely. I think because everyone's the working team. from home, I think more of the team is watching these. And uh, <laughs> sorry for all the changes. And thank you so much for all all of your work as well. Uh, Hey Google. I, I know there's a lot of set a timer for four minutes. Crash, specifically in Railjack to kind of accomplish our goals, uh, and I know four that's not been easy, and, and I really appreciate it. Now. All right. Well. Yep. Thanks everybody. Yep. Have a great weekend. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks guys. Bye. Cool. Okay. Okay. Let's just summarize. <clears throat> There are some things that are coming. That there are some things that have been shown. P B R K K U. Uh, there there are some things that have been shown in in terms of Railjack that I think are going to be very very interesting. But in a similar fashion, there are some things that were shown to do with Railjack that are making me very very fucking concerned. It's really difficult to really. It's really difficult to say. 
what the actual dealio is with uh, Railjack's revisit coming in again. Um, we're going to have to wait for them details, but right now I will remain cautiously optimistic. Okay? Cautiously optimistic. <clears throat> um, things such as uh, the map changing from being... Um, Things changing from, for example, the map becoming uh, horizontal as opposed to fucking vertical. I think that's going to be great. Uh, things like how uh, we're going to have void storms showing up in Railjack. That's going to be great. But, and there is a big but, things like players being able to randomly bring in their own railjack things into your and changing your railjack if they decide to jump on the um <clears throat> the jump on the pilot seat that is going to be chaotic and i don't even know what to think about that my immediate reaction is bad idea things like um hang on things like um Oh, I didn't even know. There's just there's just stuff in there that is just gonna be crazy and obviously things that make me yell are gonna be things that I might and I'm not gonna like. That I get the feeling I'm not gonna like. Things that make me scream yay are of course gonna be things that I'll probably like. We'll just have to see. It's coming soon. It's coming before Call of Tempestari. And I believe Call of Tempestari is supposed to come in uh, uh, in March, i.e. next month, which says to me. Uh, because there's going to be a dev workshop that's coming out on the 8th, that would say to me that um, the Railjack stuff is going to come out maybe in a week or two. Uh, maybe, no, yeah, maybe in two weeks or three weeks. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. For the purpose of the video, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, hit that like button on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.